clan brawl, right? Yeah, this is the last clan brawl. It was tier 8. So we got Harley, Infinite Chat Band, Weezer, Onager, Micro Krieger, and Dvorakman. Ah, running my favorite ship in the game. Love it. Kupchenko just resubscribed for five months. Sub replay, Shiki oh, Islands of Ice. Also, latest one in replay channels. All right, B Cup. Loki, you get off that guitar. Oh my god, I'll be right back. Okay. Oh, Vices will kill the cat if he <laughs> ruins the guitar. Nice dodging. Now, Lay Terrible and Keeve are really good in this mode because of their speed and their ability to just troll people. So we'll see what happens here. Charger's a little forward here. Um, he shouldn't be off in front of a behind. Yeah, in front of a destroyer, right? Like. So raining. Um, yes, you, you, what we can do is we can always do like a 30 minute fun run where we just do tons of, uh, tons of marbles games. I don't have a problem with that at all. <laughs> Snowmongoose marble street with, with occasional boats. So we take a break to do... <laughs> Sith Kitten needs rum. Yeah. Do they have any steering? I don't think they do. And hello, I'm Lee Junior. How you doing? I hope you're having a great time. I've just switched over to my dirty water. Cheers to all of you. We're looking at some replays now. Or energy drink. Okay. Dirty water sounds good. What is? What am I drinking? I am drinking Maker's Mark. I wonder, can can you guys see? You really yeah. like that Maker's Mark now, don't you? Oh yeah, it's good stuff. It's good stuff. Um, I'm almost out though. After I finish this, so we'll have to. F Damn, I'm gonna have to open another bottle soon. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh, I bet I know where that went. Um, now I'm confused about what's happening here now that we've gone back into it because you've got a mines in front of you. Okay, he's running away. He's low. Captain Zap Brannigan, definitely want to focus him. And unfortunately, your Lennon infinite chat band has prevented you from getting a good torpedo angle on the Massachusetts, although now you can. Um, he's probably going to curl in, so you typically want to expect the... Uh, the death spiral here. I don't know that you... Nope, he's... It's weird. On the one hand, it looked like he was going to go in. The other hand, it looked like he stopped his rudder. Okay. I would definitely hold for now. I think you're too... Well, he's screwed anyway with the hit points. That's good. And now's the part where you get team killed! Wow, good dodge. Alright, so you got a Benson. This is turning into a very bloody game. You've got Benson and Lo Yang to look into. Alright. Just a math teacher with the host. Thank you very much, just a math teacher. Appreciate that. Um, and I need to thank out some people. I, I forgot to thank B-Cup for the resub. Nice. And thank you again for the, the cheer. Dutch, thank you for the bits as well. And Mr. October, I thank you too.
Can I do the Yoshino North as the raid replay? Ash, yes, I know you tried very hard to make it work, uh, and I thank you for doing that. Um, so yes, I will prioritize that replay as well. Um, now I'm just gonna have to like remember the order. We'll be fine. We'll be fine. We'll be fine. You won't regret it, I promise. No problem, dude. No problem. Guys, thank you all again for your help with uh, with checking out Raid last week. It was so fun being able to talk about my experience in the game. And it's a game that I really did enjoy. So, like, you know, yes, it's a it was a sponsored stream, but in my opinion, it was it was well worth the sponsor because it was it was a chance for me to talk about something that um, for a long period of time was was my life for like, what, five months or so? Something like that, when I was playing it just hardcore. Where is Harley? She's dead. Okay. Uh, Duckman, that is going to be extremely dangerous. And therefore, I probably should not do that. This is a fight that I think you guys could have won, but too many ships threw their lives away for not much gain there. I think... I kind of felt like there was a lack of cohesion amongst your um, amongst your um, teammates uh, especially your Kutuzov Onager he got too far up early and it felt like he wasn't able to support um, when it was necessary it's not it's not over but I'm just saying that that's just some initial things I'm noticing um, they also brought two Massachusetts's Massachusetts whatever you want to call them uh, which of course has the, the secondary capabilities and that sort of thing just didn't feel like you got a lot of mileage out of your cruiser. Did I hit a hundred? Hundred what? You enjoy playing this ship? It takes time to get the hang of it and and yeah. Oh I yes, I did hit my 100 downloads. I did. Um, so, you better believe I'm going to be, we're going to be doing, um, kind of a celebration for that coming soon, that TM. I know I promised you guys I would do, like, um, what was it, like 30-odd giveaways in one stream? Unfortunately, I don't have enough codes to do that. I should have counted that before I said that, so, um, next stream, I'm going to give away the bulk of what's remaining. So that I still have a few codes to give away each stream, and we'll have some fun with it. But we are doing one big super giveaway in the last marble race for one of each of the codes that we have. Well, there you go. Now, at this point, um, unfortunately, you can't really do much but just spot for your Kudasaw friend. And hopefully, you can get some, some resets. Because this is armor's race, there's a heal that you get, but the enemy gets a heal too. Oh, I gotta get ready for my death pick. Celebration be more raid, right? No, raining. I mean, unless you guys want me to. If you want me to play raid on stream, I will definitely do that for you. But I'm not gonna do it as something that you're forced to watch. Good dodge. Good kill. What about Missouri? Hi, Weekend Warrior. What's up? Hope you're having fun today. Massachusetts is... Looks like he's charging. He's pretty low. No, he's being smoked by the Benson. Hmm. Interesting. You have an opportunity here. If he's if he's here, you could turn into the island and try to try to keep the island between him and, and you, and that would allow you to, to stop the um, the point gain from from capping. But too late now. They have managed to cap. Stevie is gonna go get something to drink. Play the one where I drop trees on myself and die. Oh my god, yeah, that was pretty freaking hilarious, wasn't it? 
That was Rune 2. With Puddin, just a couple just a couple of Vikings running around with no shirts on and chopping down trees and killing themselves with trees. I have yet to die in that game from a tree. What? Really? That's funny, because you were playing it for a while. I still play it every once in a while. It's a fun game. Still it is, is a fun game, yeah. Blind Potato Gunner, what's up? And hello, Broken Trident. See you. Oh. Oh my god, you're gonna pull this off. You're gonna freaking pull this off. What what are we even watching here? Putin's a lumberjack. Yeah, yep, true. Engine boost to make it more difficult for Benson's floaty floaty shells to hit you. You gotta hope for your Kutuzov to come around the corner and start helping you out, but it looks like he's just sitting. Now he's moving forward. Doesn't matter, he's gonna be dead by the time the Kutuzov gets in range. Now you could have also luck chucked some torpedoes. Oh, 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 oh. I actually thought you were gonna live. Alright. Uh C key for Isn't that right? Isn't it C? Yeah, why am I Oh yeah, arrows. Where are you? There you are. There you are. Yeah, that was so that was, yeah. I think you could have I, I think Slaughter could have gone for uh, you know, maybe maybe doing a little speed juking action there towards the end. But that's alright. We get to watch you we get to watch you blow up now. And you've got that fun. Uh, what can we do with this? I wanna highlight the 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 uh, the bow part, the decoration. That's good. That's good, right there. That'll go. That'll work. That'll do. Yeah, too many of the shells missed. Well, now it's up to your Kutuzov friend. And unfortunately, he should have been moving forward as soon as that. Um, as soon as that um, Massachusetts died, he should have switched to forward full speed. I think there might have been a little delay there in that decision. Which obviously caused that one versus one encounter. Yeah, missed some crucial shots, but definitely a really good carry. Absolutely. Absolutely. Oh, look at the presents! It's such a cool camouflage. I've actually never bound any of mine. I should, but I rarely ever use perma camouflages now, so. Oh, now the presents are getting wet. See? And I like how they're just sitting on pallets, too. It's just kind of funny. You literally just bound it to the... Mogami? Why? Why Mogami? Not sure how the Kudazaw wins this. Um, so the Benson is making a big mistake by running out of the cap right now. If the Benson stayed in the cap, I would completely agree with Grunty. As long as he can keep an island between him and the Kudazaw, the Benson will win. But the Benson has left the cap. Now the question becomes, is Onager's Hydro available? And if so, is it up? Yeah, the presence would normally be sliding off the boat. That's right, staying alive. And how are you, by the way? Oh, he's gone. Nope. So that's a torpedo turn. Yep, there's the torps. And there's the kill. That was a lot closer than I would have expected to see. Thank you for sending that one in. Next up is going to be a Lenin game. And then we've got Shikishima. We got Georgia, Shikishima, and Yoshino. I got questions too. But for now, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna give myself a Kit Kat. 
instead. By the way, these are awesome. Kit Kat Duos. It's a mix of, of uh, dark chocolate and mint. Yum, 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 yum. The Benson got spotted because he was trying to make that torpedo turn, and the Kudus of Onager was going straight at him. So that'd be why Dip Piro. I think he was 6.6 .6 away from the viewer. I don't think he was 6.6 .6 away from the Kudus out. Because I believe that was the free cam moving around. At least that's what I think. That's what it looked like to me. Anyways, Grunty, how are you doing? Puddin, when you get a chance, can you please shout out Mr. TM Grunty? Hi, Royal. Guys, Grunty, do me a favor, everybody. I want everybody in chat to send a thank you note to Grunty, please. At TM Grunty, thank you. Just do it. Seriously. Grunty has saved us all because Grunty is the reason we were able to fix the chat bot. So please send him a thank you in chat. Thank you, Grunty. And I think he deserves to be rewarded by, by following. So when it gets in there, make sure you click that link and follow. There you go. You guys are awesome. You guys are awesome. Thank you so much, guys. I wonder if my shoutouts thing is working now. Looks like it is. It is, because it worked on GP, who got me killed. Hmm, I'm getting weird server error. There you go, Grunty. You literally saved the day, my friend. So you definitely deserve some thanks. You'll thank him when you get your loot? That's that. That's the true Duckman response right there. So two brothers, you're in the Lennon, so the channel speaks to you, which, I mean, it totally should. You had first assumed an equal left-right split. And at this point, you look at the minimap and you had second thoughts. Well... In terms of the enemy, in terms of you. Because if you look at, at your team, your team is run away from Delta. The enemy is showing up at, at, at Delta as well. But now we're starting to see some enemies at A. So what I would do, personally, is I would go down the channel. You want to go down the channel so that you can control that side and be a threat. And... Squeezer, with the best way to send somebody Squizzer a thanks. Squeezer 15 gifted to Grunty a subscription. Squeezer 15 gifted a tier 1 sub to TM Grunty. This is their first oh, gift sub go. in the channel. Hey. Very, very nicely done, Squizzer. Thank you so much for sending that gifted sub over to Grunty. That's a great way to say thank you. Great way to say thank you. Um, Mara Draco, hello by the way. Um, we need to shout Mario Draco out as well. One of the, one of the awesome team members of Wargaming North America. He is a community manager for um, the Le all of Latin America. Is that correct, Mario Draco? Currently based out of Austin with all the other cool dudes. There you go. Thank you, Puddin. No problem. And first blood, and of course, of course, you've got Opizov on the ship. Because why wouldn't you? All of Latam, but mainly Brazil. Got it. Mar Draco is the reason I've been able to give away some awesome, rare tier 2 ships. That uh, Admirante Abreu, I think that's how you pronounce it. Um awesome dude you help with latam where you can awesome yes 
Are those all gone? I have one code left, unfortunately. Um, I've been holding on to it dearly so I can give it away. <laughs> <laughs> but I've, I've been happily handing those codes out, Mardraco, and people in chat are loving you for it. Thank you for putting that ship together um, with that special horn, with the flag. I mean, it's awesome. It's so cool. And the fact that you can't buy it, it really means something to people. Yeah, we love you for that. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> and that code will be part of the super giveaway for the last marble race. Oh. Very nice. Yeah, we've been we've been playing marbles all day. It's been a lot of fun. Yes, the horn is the best. Damn right, Mardraco. Well, right, I see that. Now you went in. Now now here's the thing. When you go down the channel, you're so bad at marbles. <laughs> When you go down the channel, um, you want to stop and reverse. Because what happens is the enemy team will go after you, and you want them to come after you. You are the troll getting their attention. So at this point, you should be reversing here. Um, it looks like you're starting to reverse, but it might be too late. The Edinburgh is going to come around. He's already launched one set of single-fire torpedoes at you. Give reward for first and last place. I've heard of others doing that. And Smile, we can definitely look into that. This is my first time doing um, marbles. So for me, it's just fun to play around with it and learn something new. Right through the face. Look at that. 20k damage. And Deadly is like, I got last place locked down. <coughs> Bad at Pachenko. Well... It's all skill. Marbles is all skill. Yeah, it's hitting play at just the right time. Oh. I maybe wouldn't have zoomed in there. I think that was a mistake. You you were unable to depress the guns low enough. Don't zoom in. Don't zoom in. Zoom out. Zoom out. Zoom out. Zoom out. You, you lost time by zooming in there. If you had stayed zoomed out... I mean, you only took one torpedo, so whatever, but if you had stayed zoomed out, you probably would have gotten that kill on him before he could fire the torpedo at you. More importantly, he should have had his guns pre-turned. Right? Oh, Lennon has secondaries, Taylor. It, they're on the back of the ship, see? These, these are the secondaries right here. So, when the when the Enbro was charging... These two, you can see they're already turned, had a, had a shot at an angle. Um, and these are secondaries as well, and they fired as well. But you can see that most of the secondary business is on the rear of the Leningrad. You haven't tried yet, but last place to go to you. <laughs> Deadliest was that marble earlier. Stuck behind the start line. Yes, Deadliest... Deadliest was, in fact, stuck behind the start line. Actually, Mara Draco, while you're here, this gives us a good opportunity. We've got a brief break in the game. Now, you're forced forward because of the Kerfurst and Bismarck coming around the corner. I, I like this decision to move up. And as long as that Zao wants to sit there and look at you, it's not a big deal. Where'd those torps come from? Are those Zaltorps? Gotta be. Those are definitely Zaltorps. Now, you've got OPs off, so... I wouldn't heal yet. I would hold the heal until you, you trigger his ability. And then heal. Because then you get double heal going at the same time. And that's ridiculous when you get double heal. So one thing that I've been doing is kind of showcasing some of some of my favorite things that I have collected from uh, my past five plus years of being truly addicted to this game. 
and I'm going to show you one of my my prized possessions. Some of you guys know that I enjoy from last week. You knew that I enjoy arpeggio blue steel. This sow is showing side. Okay, have fun with the citadel on him. So this is this is there's the there's the proc. All right. But well, the reason why I suggested proccing earlier, Grunty, is because that that's a that's a buff to uh, hit to dispersion, right? It's a, it's a nerf to enemy dispersion, enemy shooting at him by twenty percent. So like, why not get that to proc earlier? It's kind of my my train of thought. So this is something that that really is dear to me. I won this from Wargaming Seattle. Now the Wargaming Seattle office is now closed, but there's always going to be a soft spot in my heart for Wargaming Seattle as a result. These are cool. This is a set of playing cards. I'll show you right there. It's Girls und Panzer and it's Arpeggio Blue Steel. When World of Tanks and World of Warships did their collaborations. How cool is that? These are these are uh, playing cards. And I'll just share with you guys. Gimme, right, B Cup? So of course the ace has to be the 401, I 401. On the back side is the Wargaming logo. Logos, I should say. Well, Wargaming logo plus World of Tanks and World of Warships logos, as you can see there. And they've got all the different ships from Arpeggio Blue Steel. So here's I believe that's Yamato. Cheekiness coming up. The Georgia did definitely offer himself. I was really surprised to see that. Here's Yamat or no Musashi, I mean. There's Musashi. You have the you guys have the some of you might have the, the camouflage for it. Uh this is uh I think this is Hie. Now see, by, by being a threat in that channel, you force the entire enemy team to turn around and come back for you, which is fantastic. That's what you want to do, that's how you play that. I think this is Nachi? Hard to tell. Maybe it's Ashigara, I think. Nice, nice kill. I think that's Ashigara. You only have Maya and the Yamato, Mario Draco? Well... Maybe if you and I and everybody else is lucky, we'll see another arpeggio collaboration coming up. I'm pretty sure this is Nachi here. You have a pack of most wanted cards from the Iraq War. That's awesome, Duckman. Um, can't remember which one this one is. But here's another one of them. That one might be Miyoko. might be Miyoko. I think it's Miyoko. I'm colorblind, so I kind of struggle with this a little bit. Wait, so he doesn't have one of the six uh, ARP Congos? Well, that's coming. And Mar Draco might have started later, so he probably missed out on, on some of the earlier collaborations. Crim Sinking! Is now following. Thank you for the follow. I'm glad to give him one of my um, team ARP we thing sitting in port. There's Congo right there. Saddam's <laughs> Ace of Spades, I'm sure he is. Look at that, Azumo. Harley Quinn! What's up, Harley? I'm not sure which one this one is. Not quite sure. I think this one is Kirishima. It might be Maya. It might be Maya, but I think... Well, hmm. This, this is probably Takao. Like, red Takao. A little hard to tell. I think that's red Takao. You're still one of those cute noobs trying to play tier 10 that you like to f to fall on the enemy team. There you go. Ah, and this is Haru Haru. 
Haruna. All green, so of course the the uh, the, the filter is thinking it's green screen. Nice job, Bao, taking that Azuma, by the way. And then we've got um, Iona. So now they switch to characters. So we go from the ships to the characters instead. So there's Iona. Um, I think that's Yamato. I always mixed Yamato and Musashi up, but here's the other one. You only have Arpeggio Haruna from the premium run. Haruna was your favorite character. Oh, Haru Haru was great. I loved Haru Haru. This is Hiei. And this is definitely Ashigara. You launched two games on your own. Wow. That's awesome. Arpeggio Bismarck and Lexington. Dude, I would love an Arpeggio Lexington. I think this is Nachi. I think that's Nachi. I can't remember. Vorinth, you don't have any of the Arpeggio ships? I'm sorry, man. Look at you. Once again, Kaklin playing the, the Trapdoor Spider. I love it. Here's Miyoko. And number seven is this is this is Haguro. Edge case, what's up, Edge case? And the main woman herself, Congo. Nice kill for that crack in there. Wow. And then we've got Maya. It's a carnival, Dio! And look at that. You've helped to win this game. Kirishima? I kind of wish Kirishima was, was in her in her kind of human state for longer than half of an episode. Because it gets kind of boring seeing the, the teddy bear in the show, but that's okay. Oh, I was right. It was it was Takao. The, the, the number three was Takao. There's Takao right there. Now we're going to see some team synergy. Well, I should hope so. I mean, there's just the Zhao and the Kremlin left. And there, of course, is Haru Haru. And then our Jokers. I believe that's supposed to be 402 or 403. Getting a Kraken while lurking in the channel. I mean, that's exactly what you do with that, right? Like, you just... Sit there. Now, here comes the girls und Panzer, and I apologize, I do not recognize the tanks, because I'm not a World of Tanks player. But I'm sure some of you guys are going to recognize this, and please feel free to say in chat what tanks that we are looking at. Schoolgirl Iona. That might be the, very much the case, Terrors Mark. That's a Panzer IV? Really? Hmm. 404 Joker not found. Now, this looks like it's a Churchill. Please tell me if that's right or wrong. I think that's a Churchill tank. You'd forgotten about that, Kellogg's? I had no idea what it was or how it existed. I just know it's, you know, girls and tanks, because girls and chips make sense. Now, of course, that's our famous M4 Sherman. It does look like a Churchill. Okay, good. I know some of my World War II tanks. I just don't know some of the crazier designs. Uh, this is a, a TED-34 or T-34. Girl Zoom Panzer, because we wanted tanks in our anime. There you go, Raining. Ah, Octoon, this is the Tiger tank. Kill number six with a triple citadel on the Kremlin coming around that corner. You told your Slava not to advance and you're glad he listened. That was very smart. You guys created a kill zone because of that. Okay, I have no idea what the hell this is, guys. Please tell me. What is this? That's the view you normally get of Soviet battleships? I have no idea what this is.
Tank Destroyer Soviet? Okay. This looks like it's a Japanese, like a Type 3 tank or something. It could be an oh, Italian tank? Okay. The, the way that the top looks, that makes me think it's a, it's a Japanese style. Players trust their armor way too much. Ice chick underscore 58 is now following. <laughs> Something tanky. It's a tank. Oh, uh, Ice Pick, thank you very much for the follow. Russian T-45, okay. This is the, the M3 Grant. Which was before the Sherman existed. A lot of these tanks I recognize from playing Pacific Theater of Operations 4, PTO 4. And time ran out and you won. Dude, nice game. Um, I hope you didn't mind taking some time off to show some cards off and stuff like that. I think that worked out quite well because we were in the middle of the battle anyway. M3... Oh, Lee. Yeah. Did, what, did I call it something else? Did I call it a grant? I'm sorry if I called it a grant. Um, I think I might have clicked on the wrong replay, and I think I, I'm loading your Shikishima now, B Cup, but if that's the case, I'll do the next one afterwards. Uh, this looks like it's a tank destroyer. Not exactly sure what, but it definitely looks like a tank destroyer. This looks like it might be a French design. German TD. Stug. Stug. This looks like a... I think this is a French. M3 Greeley and M3 Grant are basically the same. Oh, okay. Thank you, Kellogg's. I don't know much about my tanks, but I really do appreciate you guys are jumping in and, and not pouncing all over me for screwing these up. This is a tank destroyer. I think it's an American, but I could be wrong. Maybe British. Oh, okay. It was Italian before. Heads... Hetzer. Okay, so that's a German then German tank destroyer. Let me take a moment to get into the game and take a look at the uh, the setup. Tier ten, you're divisioned up with Zardesu. Straight tier ten carriers. Oh my God! Look at all of the cruisers that you're gonna farm with your dead eye. Okay, I can already tell what what kind of what kind of BS this game's gonna be. Um, is this a KV five? This, this is, is this is or is this that Russian tank with that gigantic gun basically? It's your favorite tank destroyer. Grant doesn't have that baby turret that Lee has. Oh okay. Not sure what it is. Turret seems a little different. Okay. Can't get it much closer without the the focus messing up. It looks like a Japanese tank. Okay. Japanese medium. Hmm. This one, I have no idea. KV-1, okay. Looks like a Russian, not the, okay. I have no idea what this is. This is French? Okay, cool. And now, I don't know any of these characters, but now we're switching to the hearts. And of course, there's girls, so I'll just flip through these relatively quickly because I have no idea who they are or what they mean in the show. Whoops. I just dropped. I dropped my ace. No. Come back to me, anime lady. There's our next one. This is Islands of Ice. B Cup is controlling the middle. I like his positioning. This is something we don't see a lot of good battleship players doing, um, which is kind of projecting their power. I talked about this before when I talked about the commander rework and Deadeye. A lot of people playing too far back and because of that, as a battleship, they're not projecting their power as much as they as they could be. Here's a chick with popcorn. No idea what that means, but hey, popcorn. Three overpens on that. It must have been through the uh, superstructure. You always project your power B cup. Absolutely you do. Whether that be from tips, or subs, or whatever, you definitely project your power, my dude. K-Chan. Okay, Taras Mark, there you go. Oh, I'm, I'm glad you recognize her, who these people are. I should check out the show at some point. You play War Thunder Ground Forces, Warth? Okay. 
Rogue Bat, what are these cards? These are playing cards that I won from Wargaming Seattle. Um, I won a, uh, a trivia contest, and they they asked me for my address, and uh, so I shared it with them, and, you know, I mean, I, my, my address is probably in, like, ten people's different um, uh, databases or something, I don't know, but it's out there, and um, they sent me a prize, and I had no idea what the prize was, and then I got this this package from them, and it included a few other things, like a, a 5x7 World of Warships, uh, I don't know if it's a magnet or like a postcard, but it was really cool. Alright, we're watching this now, B-Cup. Oh, Broadside Des Moines, jeez. Bye, Des Moines. Yeah, we saw that coming. I don't know if your dead eye was active for that shot or not, though. It was pretty close. Oh, B Cup. B Cup, we we know you're running dead eye, dude, from the last replace from last week. So we're not gonna we're not gonna ask that that question because it's a bit of a rhetorical question uh, for now for you, but. Clearly, Wargaming knows that I am a culturist. Damn right, my dude. That's the Sears Tower. I'd love to live in the Sears. That'd be pretty awesome. Another chick. Don't know who she is. The thing is, even without Deadeye, Shikishima is a ridiculous ship for, play for people that understand how to aim. They had a Seattle office, JT Ninja, but, but that Seattle office closed like three or four years ago. So they're not around anymore, unfortunately. But they used to do a um, like a weekly stream, and I think it was on Facebook. I can't remember exactly what it was. No, the names are not stated on the cards. That would be nice if they, if they were. All it says on the back is copyright wargaming.net and then girls in panzer and um, arpeggio blue steel on the back so i have no idea who these are but it's kind of fun to look at and 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 know that there's a there's a show based around these characters and with with how much i love arpeggio blue steel there's no way in hell i'm ever gonna let these go you know what i mean musashi definitely benefits because it, it's gonna possibly face tier sevens sure Yeah, these cards were, were promotional cards, and it even says on the box, not for sale. Once again, here's the um, Girls in Penza wiki. I suppose I could do that. You can see on the back there. So that that's that's my item that I'm going to share with you guys today. Every, every stream, I'm going to try to pick another item to share with you guys. Um, that, that's just fun. Um, to show and, and, you know, help to illustrate why I, I really do enjoy this game and I enjoy the people behind it because of some of the amazing things they've been able to put together. Montana Broadside? Hmm, okay. Arp Edgeo is a really cool series. Oh my goodness, Ashkans! I need to stretch out my neck, so this is good actually. <laughs> What's up, my dude? Here it comes, here it comes. Did we just get raided? We just got raided by Ashkans. Yes, when you get a chance, please make sure you shout him out. 120 people coming in with him. Thank you so much for that raid, Ashkans. I hope you had a great final to your finale to your stream. You were doing well earlier today. We just finished going through one of my favorite favorite objects that I've collected from Wargaming, uh, which is a set of, of playing cards that's Girlzoon Panzer and Arpeggio Blue Steel. I realize that some of you guys might be turned off by that and run away as a result. Oh my god, Zeth is a weeb. Don't worry, I wasn't shoving it in everybody's faces. But uh, yeah, so welcome aboard, Raiders. This is Zass Replay Theater, where we go through replays and talk I about what's going on. Stream with 106 viewers. 
and how it all works. And right now, this is B Cup's game in the Shikishima. Tone Star 70 is now following. Tone Star, thank you very much for the follow. And looks like Sun Glint as well needs to be thanked. Thank you very much, Sun Glint. Oh no, Sun this Montana. Glint one is now following. I love those guns. Those 510 millimeter guns are so beautiful sounding. Scorgi, thank you for the follow. 95 is now following. How was your stream, Askans? Asus Raider, thank you very much for the follow as well. Asus Raider is now following. Yeah, I hope you had a good stream. I'm sure you did. Askans is an awesome dude. Um, very good at walking through and very much like some of you guys commented about me teaching earlier. He's a really good teacher when it comes to um, carrier stuff. Oh, you did a regrind stream. Okay. What line did you? What line were you doing, Askans? And I'm probably mispronouncing, and I apologize if that's the case. Pars Nautico is now following. Pars Nautico, thank you very much for the follow. Oh, okay. So the U.S. line, nice. Uh, U.S. cruisers or U.S. carriers. Knowing you, probably U.S. carriers. <laughs> Yeah. Wait a fox is now following. Wait a fox, thank you very much for the follow. Hey guys, um, we do have a giveaway going for sub camo code. So when you're following, make sure you hit exclamation point ticket. That's all you got to do is hit exclamation point ticket and be a follower to win. That's it. Nice and simple. Sub camo codes are beautiful. You get 10 of them and you get 150% to regular XP. It's great for grinding up a live, uh, grinding up a line, I should say. Now take a look at uh, Beacup's position. He's waiting for that Kremlin to come forward. Um, in the process though, you are kind of sitting broadside to where he might come out. So you might want to think about maneuvering a little bit. Oh look, there's the carrier. You are stuck on the island. Yeah, I see that now. Well, at least you've got the midway that you can shoot. Activate Deadeye! <laughs> Oops. Wargamer can't, Wargamer can't map their games properly. Sometimes I feel like the island just reaches out and grabs you, you know? It's like, get in here! There's that Kremlin. 26k, nice. Shikishima's a really good ship if you're like uh, good at aim and you've got experience with Yamato or Musashi. And those guns just sound so great. Goodbye, Midway. Nope. You ricocheted. You, you're 510 millimeter shells. Which are like the size of an RV or something, just bounced off the deck of the carrier. Wow. Wow. Slaughter got stuck so hard in his Stalin, I could ram him enough to get moving. Oh, really? That's funny, Harley. By the way, that was a crazy game that you guys were in that clan brawl we covered earlier. It's nuts. Oh, look at Zhao. And just in the nick of time, you went you went dark. When we pincer see, let's try not to torp each other. That's generally a good idea. Oh my god. Now, Kremlin is showing you a side. I know you want to kill the Zhao, but... Kremlin might be a tasty target, although he's about to go behind the island, so... I'm not surprised. You were sleeping? Oh, no worries, Harley. Right? We need a bigger caliber, don't we? Uh, 
Um, Katarni, the, the game's always kind of done that. If you sit still, the game will, will slowly push you out from the island that you're stuck at. So that's one way to get out of there and unstuck is just to sit there at zero throttle and be shot at while, while holding. Autopilot works pretty good too. You can move on. Oh yeah, that's an idea. All right, you versus Kremlin. Reminisce after stream? Sounds good, Harley. Islands, I'm stopping you now, so you avoid torps. Other islands, incoming torps, buddy. Would be a real shame if you got stuck. <laughs> Very true. Very damn true. And that's game. Uh, where are we at for timing? Okay. Uh, let's go ahead and we're going to switch over and do some marbles on stream. Those of you guys who just jumped in, um, check this out. We, we, we've started running some marbles games because it's fun. And then after that's done, we will definitely take a look at your Georgia. Come on, Shikishima, move. Cloner 4000 there we go. Is now following. Cloner 4000, thank you very much for the follow. Let's see. Let's just go ahead and pick a random track. Putin, what's this for again? CC crate. So this will be for CC container. All you have to do is hit exclamation point play, and you can be a part of the action. Um, what I'm going to do is run a brief three minute ad so that I can go and stand up, stretch my back a little bit. And then we will get started. Actually, we'll make it a two minute. Um, we'll get started, but you go down, you go down there, you come around, you plop through here and then, oh, there's like boulders that are going to take you out. And then there's a funnel that you go down and then a whole bunch of other craziness. So stick with us guys, hit exclamation point, uh, play to get into this game. Lazy Onia is now following. We've got a max of a hundred. I should probably, can I change that or is it too late? It's probably too late. Tornado 2453 is now following. There's over a hundred people in here. So you know what I'm going to try doing? Hold on a sec. Can I close out of this? I don't know if I can. Main menu. I'm going to try to go in and, and set the limit higher guys. So just give me a sec. You're going to have to redo it. I'm sorry for that. But let's change the max. We've got 214 people in here. So just in case, we're going to do 250. Let's try that. Tornado, thank you for the follow. And we also have Lazoni. Thank you very much for the follow as well. All right, so let's see what this one does. This one's a funnel down into division, into other things, into another funnel, into division, into another funnel, into division, into another funnel, and then through a whole bunch of craziness. All right. Cool. So I'm going to start a timer, a three minute timer. And then we'll, we'll get going. Okay. Here we go. You should be able to see yourself joining in now. So three minutes start, uh, three minute countdown begins. I went ahead and joined too, because it's fun. There's <laughs> Grunty. Hey, I like this. This is fun. I really enjoy this. Good. I'm so glad. Deadliest says funnels is his, is his Achilles heel. All right, we're going to be back in three minutes to get started. Stevie's not up here, is he? Okay, we need to fix that. Feed the cat speed.
Pikachu underscore level 23 Pikachu. is now following. I'm sorry, it's a, level, it's a level 23 Pikachu. Pikachu level 23. I don't know. Just in time, look at that, guys. In three minutes, I was able to go down, feed the cats. Thank you all for your patience. Oh my god, look at all these people playing. Tan underscore <laughs> is now following. Last chance, guys, exclamation point play. Pedro underscore McLeod is now following. And they're off. Oh, some people getting boosted. Instead of following, because that got people really dizzy last time, I'm just going to sit here. <laughs> Thank you. Note to self, don't ever stream Ace Combat. You're awesome, Zath. I don't care what Puddin says about you. Oh, you're not here. Thank you. Hey, what? <laughs> Some people are getting out through the funnel. And now we're splitting off. And JDSME is our current leader. Coming into the next funnel. Coming down the funnel. Through the splits, M13 coming in close second right now. Classic is behind him. Here we go, here we go. Puddin, what's the stake again? Good talk. <laughs> <laughs> oh, M13 is now in the lead. What? How is that? Oh, it's because uh, it, it's, it's raw distance to the final sometimes. So here we go. Oh no, Mr. October out of nowhere takes the lead. Surging to the back, says Duckman. Well, now this is where this is where dreams are made or broken. Here we go. Here we go. And oh. Look at that. Grumpy Shark now in first. Skyring is also in first. This is gonna be a this is gonna be a photo finish between Grumpy Shark. And Skyring. Who's gonna win? Who's gonna do it? Who's gonna do it? It's gonna be Grumpy Shark! Grumpy Shark takes the first place. Skyring close second. Squizzer third place. Terror's Mark fourth. Snow Mongoose sixth. Grunty. Sorry. Snow Mongoose fifth. Grunty sixth. Ensign Cthulhu seventh. Dutch eighth. Backwards ninth. And Relic finishes off the top ten. Congratulations. 53 foot slalom is stuck in the back. <laughs> that's all right. He'll still finish. And I think that's everybody this time. All right. Grumpy Shark. Grumpy Shark, if you are here, please say something in chat and make sure. Ah, there we go. Puddin's taking care of this. Thank you, Puddin. And thank you, Grumpy Shark, for being a follower for over 10 months, my dude. Fan-freaking-tastic. Backwards, you finish in the top 10 a lot. Well, you should, because you're a member of Kraken. I don't know, I got none. Let's get back to the game. Say, what does that have to do with marbles? <laughs> Not a thing. <laughs> Grumpy Shark, doo -doo -doo. <laughs> Oh, God, someone said what I was thinking. What? Grumpy shark doo -doo 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 -doo. I know, right? I know. Warp speed, Mr. Scott. Thanks for hanging out. Have a great day as well to you, good sir. All right, Suzuki Kai, once again, this time in a Georgia. Now, we know that you play Deadeye. Um, we know you play Deadeye in in your Shikishima, but we don't quite know if you play Deadeye with your other um, ships. So we're going to go ahead and make a poll. And I'd like you guys to answer. 
Does B Cup indeed have Deadeye? We're going to give you guys five minutes to vote. Yes or no. Had winning down now to start all over Broken Trident. You were singing it in your head too, Corgan? I was trying not to sing it, but, but then Kitten just went in and got it all stuck in everybody's heads, including mine. Thank you so much, Kitten. You know what? For that, I'm going to shout you out. Aw, you're so awesome. Guys, Sith Kitten is uh, somebody who's newish, looking into uh, maybe someday join the ranks of community contributors like myself and um, Askance. Um, if not, regardless, it's, uh, as you guys know, a very fun hobby and truly outstanding being able to connect with people. And so Kitten goes and streams and all that good stuff, so make sure you check her out. And Sith Kitten wants me to pet... How can I pet Stevie? He's not here. He's eating food. I know. When he gets there, you better look okay. on him. Okay. When he gets here... What he smells like. What? When he gets here, I will raid him. How's that sound? Wait, that sounded bad. <laughs> We'll do something. <laughs> oh, I did forget, Cocklin. I am sorry. You know, with B Cup and Battleship replays, you'd be interested in using the prediction tool option and gambling some channel points. That's that. Well, we could do that. I, I haven't really done a gamble channel point thing, but sure, we could look into it. Wait, but then if you win, you there's a lot of more cover my replays available. So I don't know how I feel about this. <laughs> no worries, you don't have you don't have uh, dead eye on your linen. Lenin, I could see being like completely full survivability tank build. I think I hear a cat. I do hear a cat. Hi, Stevie. Hi. Okay, so Stevie has a pattern, okay? He eats, then he poops, then he wants on my lap, and then he goes to his bed. So, <laughs> so he is here now, and we're going to go ahead and put the lap cam back on, and let's pick him up. Hi. We check for poop. Okay, you're good. Yes, after he poops. Very smart, I know, because then he's got poop and he's 16, so... Ugh. I've been using wipes on him recently. He doesn't like it, but that's okay. Alright, so... Textbook example chat. Incoming. Okay. All right, Seth Kitten, this is this is the petting Stevie just for you right here. And he loves it. He loves it. You are really up front with your uh, Georgia here. Not that I'm disagreeing. I love aggressive battleship play. There's a cat bed cam on chat. That is very true. But he's currently on my lap, so... And he loves head pats. He loves head pats. There was actually a whole reason I wanted you to pet Stevie, actually. Really? It's Loki sitting here, and every time he sees Stevie, he sits there and just watches. Oh, okay. So now he's watching Stevie? Yeah, he's sitting in my lap watching Stevie. Hmm. <laughs> well, he's looking right at you guys right now. Mm. He's so pretty. He's very beautiful. Internet cat romance. There you go, Cthulhu. I don't know. I guess you'll have to have Stevie watch one day when Loki's on, on his cam, huh? Mm-hmm. All right. So you're parallel parking with a Lennon. That's exciting. You got engine boost on now, so you can just do some ridiculous things like slingshot around the island into people's faces. You might as well, because that Fletcher looks like he might be hunting your carrier, so... Phanto. Hello, Furball. Right? Right? Oh my god, Sith Kitten won the giveaway. 
rigged? What, what was this for a container? Was I don't this know. One for a put, I, put no, in. this was for camel. <laughs> okay. There you go. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> And the results are in. 58% of you with 21 votes are saying no. B cup Who's is. Is not using that. What was that? Who's your newest follower? I have no idea. Oh, I could just look that up. Pedro McLeod. If he's here, give it to him. Pedro McLeod with the follow. I think I forgot to thank you for that. Pedro McLeod, if you are here, Sith Kitten has willed you her subscriber camouflage. Just say something in chat so that we can get you your code. Sith Kittens... No, I'm sorry. S. F. Fern... S. Whatever said. 6,000 channel points to get the answer to no. Oh, God. See what you're going to start? You're starting raining recon or with the, the follow, unfollow. All the min-maxers. Oh, look at the Summers. The Summers is going to just nail the Enterprise. I'm, I'm not really upset about this. It's wild watching Georgia actually work, right? All right, B Cup. The answer was no. Do you have dead eye? Yes or no? Let us know. And look at you reversing in in speed boost. What am I giving this to? If he is here, Pedro McLeod. Pedro underscore McLeod. Just barely missed, but look. We need, to, we need to see this up close, guys. Look how close he was to a ram here. Look at that. As a matter of fact, I think I'm going to screen... Oh, you know what? This counts as a death pick because there's a ship that's dead in there. I'm calling it right there. That counts as a death pick. Nice. The death pick oh is right there, right? And Raining, of course, is ready for his death picks, uh, emoticons, whatever emojis. Second death pick of the stream. Damn right it is. Oh, God. Stevie, your fur is all over my face now. Ugh. But you're so pretty. Mm. And he likes when I hold him, he likes when I grab him. Well, close. I mean, come on. The ships were still way too far apart to crack a coconut between. Oh, that's true, Cochlin. But I, I grabbed that a little bit late. I probably should have stopped it earlier. Oh, no. The Enterprise died. Oh, no. Well, Ricochet, thank you so much. I'm glad, man. If you're leaving, that's great. Take care. Have a great day. Thanks for spending time with us. Please, by all means, send me a replay of your own gameplay. I'd love to give you some of my thoughts and feelings and let's let's take a look at it aside from that though appreciate you that's that's some of the nicest things people can say in chat that they're going to be back that they like what they see so that really does mean a lot to me so thank you and i hope to see you next sunday the enterprise never dies huh And if he doesn't respond, just send me the code and I'll give it to some random person. Hey, Biggle Andrew. We don't like random people. They're always oh. on the other team. Don't <laughs> worry, don't go in here. And on your team too, right? Look at him. He's, he's just so happy right now. Like, he can sit here forever and he's fine. Bismarck bot. What's up, Bismarck? Only if you're the IJN command and wondering why this one carrier just keeps showing up, right? <laughs> I can always just draw a new winner. Yeah, do that. New winner, guys. The Grey Ghost. JT Ninja. Alright, now that's somebody who's been around in chat today. Very deserving. I'm sure JT is a follower. 
at this point. I hope so. Hmm. He's closing his eyes, guys. He could literally fall asleep like this. <laughs> Can you guys see that, or is it above on your screen too much? You gotta keep battling? Yeah, dude, keep battling. That's fine. Get get some rest, sweetheart. After the other day, please get some rest. You've had me worried. Alright, now Stevie's like, what's going on? Oh, here we go. Here's a giveaway. Two Lunar New Year t uh, containers and two Journey to the West containers. Oh, look, yeah, a Parsifal. Yeah, if I this, I'm not giving it away. <laughs> you need a cuddle like that, Harley? <laughs> it's freaking cold. I'm sorry. So what you're telling me, Seth, if you win that, you just want me to instantly redraw a new winner? Torque 64 nope. is now following. <laughs> Torque, thank you for the follow. I highly doubt I'll win this time. All right, Harley, just for you, I'm going to I'm gonna grab him again. Because he's mine. Yay! And besides, what else am I going to do while we're watching... Beacup, Beak up, did you tell us, by the way, that, that this... Do you have uh, Dead Eye? Harley says it was negative 20 last night. It's negative 20 now. Or negative 2, yeah. It's pretty cold by us, too, but obviously not as cold. Because you're farther north. Beak up has Dead Eye. So, chat, you guys were wrong. I wasn't. Chat doesn't lie. <laughs> <coughs> He just puts his head up on my wrist there. Cat's like, no, you were mine, right? Yeah, Beak Up and Dead Eye name a more iconic duo on this stream, excluding Deadliest and Death Picks, of course. I would agree there. Now, there's only one problem. I want dirty water. Oh, no. <laughs> Stevie. Sorry, Stevie. Dirty water comes first. Oh! Z, that's terrible! It's okay. It's okay, because I can just take my drink, and then I go back to cuddling. Duckman and Loot. There's another good duo. Negative 22 Celsius in southern Alberta. Oh, no. Wow. Conklin and the absence of Deadeye. <laughs> Oh, torpedoes. What do you know? Oh, you've got Filthy Pelican on your team. I didn't notice that. Filthy Pelican's a forumite, so... It's just somebody that I recognize, you know, after a while you recognize names on forums and stuff. You've got Halsey <laughs> on your Georgia, too, by the way. Nice. <laughs> I hear an old man, apparently. Thank you, Corgan. My birthday is... 14 days away. Kraken and close quarters expert. Because that's how we do it, right, Stevie? Yeah. <coughs> hey, Submariner, no worries. You're an old man at 68, dude. No worries, dude. 68, hopefully that means you've had a... You've had a great life, and you still have more time left in you. Keep on kicking. Yoshino time! Asteroid, here we go. I'm younger than your father, therefore I can't be an old man by definition. Thanks, Cochlin, I think. <laughs> still have. There you go. That's the attitude, my dude. Oh, and Pikachu, thank you for the uh, for the follow earlier. I, I, we were talking about it, but I don't know if you heard me um, in the mic. And Tan Elian as well. Thank you guys both. Stevie is 16 years old, which is quite old for a kitty cat. And um, I'm hoping to have him in my life for at least a couple more years. But everybody that's been in his life before has died. His ex-girlfriend and his brothers have all passed away. So, 
He's the last one here. Hamtastic replays are going quite well. Thank you very much. Oh no, Ham's here. I'm younger than you are, Cochlin. Okay, Cochlin, how old are you? If you don't mind me asking. Corkin is 37 going on 77. Heh. <laughs> All right, Ash. Let's get you the. Let's get you the. Uh, do, 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 do. Shout out in case you're here. Get a ping. Just so Ash is aware. Bogsy in my chat. Anybody know the command for removing the HUD in replays? Law. You could just ask me directly. Raining, I see there's a Kagero game. You submitted? Alright. Currently the answer to life, the universe, and everything. There you go, Gocklin. I better stay healthy for Stevie's sake. Harley, that's my biggest concern. Is that um, I get sick and, and make him sick, so... Um, when I'm at school, I've got I've got a, a face shield on top of my mask just to just completely protect me from getting him sick. When I come before I leave, I wash my hands. When I come home, I wash my hands. I do everything I can because he is everything to me right now. Snow Mongoose says it's always means to be playing a game where he's young. I get it. <laughs> Had a good run this morning. Good. Cochlin, I'm aware of the uh, the book. I've never read it, believe it or not. Your oldest was 21 when she went, which is 100 in cat years. Wow. And Stevie has decided it's time for the bed. <laughs> so there goes the lap cam. Bye, Stevie. Oh, he's still there. Oh, I know. He went <laughs> to the cat. The... Cat's very intent on the game. He's very intent in relaxation. Oh, Duckman, don't worry, she knows. She knows where she stands. <laughs> oh my god. What? I can't see different, though, because I basically told Vices I love my smoker more than him. Well, there you go. I mean, you know, there's there's certain things in your life, like when Stevie dies, it's going to be a very traumatic event for me. Um, You know, it's going to be hard. I've, he's been a he's been a part of my life for longer than my wife has been. I'm like, just think about that, you know. He was in my life when I graduated college and I started teaching, well, student teaching and then and then teaching. I mean, it's longer than I know my wife. He doesn't keep a towel close, no. The answer to life, the universe, and everything is. 42. All right, Cochlin. You got me beat by just a couple of years. So, we haven't talked too much about Ash's gameplay, but there's not much to say right now, at least. He's just moving up in the Oshino, and... I mean, the, what is the enemy team doing? They're all just clustering at A. What is your team doing? They're also clustering at A. They're also clustering south of C. Which is... Interesting. That's awesome, Ricochet. <laughs> Thanks. The answer to life, you have to reach it by dividing it by zero. Oh! <laughs> oh, oh, Boda, yes. Dirty water. Congratulations. Cheer. The dead eye cluster. There you go. Um, Glacial, I think you asked me, have I moved to a different location? I am now in a dedicated stream room in this house. I moved here about a month ago, maybe two months ago now. And I finally got permission by the wife to buy the stuff that I needed to make this possible. The, um, Sony a6000 camera, which I had been been holding on to for a very very long time 
for travel purposes. But travel's not happening now. And so, you know, you can get a few few cables and stuff, and then it works. And what I love about the, the A6000 is the kit lens on it, it's got a zoom. So I can like zoom out, I can I can zoom in, ooh. You know, I can have some fun with that, right? But yeah, you know, like it, it's a great camera. It's far better than those cheap webcams that I was forced to, to buy. So I'm very happy with all that. Nice kill. So Ash now has the entire flank covered. He's got a couple of choices. Choice one is to push, choice two is to turn around. Looking at their team, I'd push. I would get myself up to the A line and just be that be that one jerk that refuses to leave on the A line and dares the enemy to come after me. Glacial, thanks, man. I'm glad to hear it too, because it's been I've streamed for three years in the family room. And this is the first time that I have had a room to myself. I have a door that I can shut if I want to. I haven't had that in, in 14 years. So it's nice to have a place of my own. It's nice to, you know, have a desk that I built. I mean, so, you know, one thing my wife was very supportive of was the fact that I can, I can buy my own desk. And I've got this desk, right? That's a sit-stand desk. So now I'm standing up. And voila. I can play the game standing now. So I'm currently standing. There's my chair in the background. And I'm standing right here in front of you guys. This is damn cool if you ask me. Uh, Duckman? Yes, that is true. Standing desks are very nice. And yes, the kitty, we zoomed away from the kitty. So the cat cam is actually underneath. Um, here, I'll show you. Since we have a lull in combat right now, there's the cat cam right there, and there's Stevie. Still looks like I'm sitting. Well, that's the idea, right? So there's Stevie. And then there's the cat cam right there. See, you can see, you can see it right there. And then here's you guys on stream. And here's my desk. Now I spent a good couple hours getting my desk to look nice and clean. Um, except for this part of the desk, but you know, whatever. And yeah, it's a good setup. I've been very lucky here. All right, we can turn off the cat, the lap cam. Twink. So now I'm standing. Great for blood circulation, great for overall health. And I don't know if I showed you guys, did I? I forgot, hold on. And I have a hammock right here that, that, that hangs underneath the desk. So I can literally lay down in my hammock and relax and watch the screen. I can watch people's, I've done this. You can watch streams from the hammock. It's really quite nice, really quite nice. Oh, and then of course there's Maker's Mark. There you go. You've raised your monitor by eight inch. Yeah, exactly. Higher monitor is really good. Really good, okay, so. All right, let's get back to the game here. Ash has now convinced the enemy team that he's a threat. So what's nice is you've got the ability to luck chuck torpedoes at a whole ton of enemies. Ironically enough, your team has found a way to lose this game in terms of ships. I would definitely flip around and get those other torpedoes off and try to go dark. Get the enemy team to chase after you and to sail directly into your torpedoes. Drop an in I uh, drop insert for keyboard, huh? 
Uh, you've tried to play Wallace while in a hammock? Yeah, I'm not going to do that necessarily, but, you know, he could, I guess. I like this play, though, because it, it encourages the enemy to chase you, and it might give your teammates the time that they need to rally. I think very important. You guys do have the point tick advantage because you've got two caps. I need a trackball mouse and a tiny keyboard. Oh god. Nice kill with the torpedoes. See, that's why you luck chuck torpedoes. I like that uh, Nevsky's name, Iowa. Just start streaming while laying on the couch. Duckman, you're not too far off. There was a couch in front of me where I streamed, but I did not stream from the couch. I probably could have. Maybe I should have to, because that would have been a lot of fun. All right, you're spotted, which means the Kitakaze is probably chasing after you. Two enemies dead, and he has both of the kills. That is correct. AP on the Nevsky. As you can see, the Nevsky already turning. Nice hit, though. Hipper's a better target. Rod siding. But you're looking at that Nevsky thinking he might give you a side and turn out. Hey, Jason. I don't know if he will or not. Oh, hey, Jason. What's up? Good to see you, dude. You used to be able to take a lunch pick break and nap in a hammock at your old job. Good times. I mean, Sea Bear, you're not <laughs> wrong. I've had that experience too. Oh, I bet you wish you had AP loaded for this salvo, but no, Danevsky's turning back anyway. Like, really, all you're doing right now is trying to be an annoyance to get the enemy team to chase after you. That's all you care about. Shoot the Alaska, he's much lower. Now, Ash, I believe, plays on the, um, I think he plays on the Asia server. Your concealment's 14.7. They don't need a destroyer to spot you. Well, that's, that's, at this point, that is very true. It looked, though, like the Kitakaze was spotting because there wasn't anything else in your range that could spot you. At the time, at least. Now, some of you guys have noticed I've been playing with wireless headphones. And wireless headphones are great because they've got a battery, but wireless headphones also suck because that battery almost always runs out when you need to, like when you need it the most. So if you'll excuse me for a second, I need to charge my damn headphones. So I go from wireless headphones to wired headphones. But that's okay, that just limits my movement. Hey, look, another torpedo kill in the Nevsky. Lol. Your team has still found very little to do with your actions, though. The Jean Bart is. I don't know what he's doing. If headphones running on souls would be nice, right? The green battleships need to push. Well, yeah, they do. But look at the Thunderer, look at the Iowa, and look at the Jean Bart. It's not happening. Probably be an Apple product. Lol. And I do have something special for you guys coming up in about an hour from now. We are going to do an unboxing of essentially of unboxing on bagging if you will of this it's uh some clothing that was sent to me by fabletics so i'm looking forward to checking that out and showing uh, what i got i have no idea i've never opened it yeah well that's the point duckman the jean bart can't even do anything with his gun so i don't know what he's trying to accomplish there uh, your Alaska is trying to do some damage against the Soyuz, but that's going to be tough, too. Look at your part. Look at their Parsifal. 
Oh, your carrier is dead. Oops. Zest so unboxing theater. Damn right, raining. I've been waiting for since Wednesday to open this bag up. I have no idea what's in it. I'm looking forward to finding out. Uh, if your Alaska can either kill the Soyuz or ram, it's a good trade, but they both missed. And I feel like the Alaska is the most screwed of the two of them. Oh yeah, he's screwed. Kiyokaze dies, so does your Alaska. You're still winning technically on points because you had two caps for the very longest time. But your Jean Bart is still sitting there. Okay. Dead eye for life. <laughs> this is a Yoshino. He can't equip that eye on the Yoshino. Take it for the bag, though. I guarantee it won't fit you. <laughs> there you go, Dockman. So I'm gonna I'm gonna unbox the clothes, and we'll see what they look like. Um, and I'm probably gonna wear some of them during the course of this coming week, and on stream. For the next couple of streams, we'll talk a little bit about more about Fabletics and all that kind of stuff. Jean Bart's not AFK because if you look at him, he's already turned to a kiting weight position. That Jean Bart has already given up and is now heading to the next battle. I I'm sorry, he's heading to the next island to hide behind. If you were only that lucky, right? Meanwhile, your Thunderer is doing the best he can to charge and die. Because that's what you do when you're outnumbered 5 to 1, right? As you charge in, you get yourself killed. <laughs> oh, this Parsifal. Kill. Kill, you've got the AP. What are you waiting for? Make it happen. Save your star. Oh, the Thunder got the Alaska. That's good, at least. Oh, look at the Montana giving broadside and the Soyuz, too. Very confused by this decision. But hey, they're winning, so they might as well throw their lives away, right? Jean Bart is now pushing forward, showing his face. That's good. Ish. Some people should have their t uh, ships taken away from them. Maybe. Maybe. Dimin! NLMMLN is now following. <laughs> Thank you for the follow. <laughs> that was awesome. There goes your Thunderer. He's the last best hope for a win, other than you. Well, at least the Montana's stuck there. The Parsifal's running away from you. You just have to hope that this John Bart can live for like, I don't know, a couple of minutes. So you can kill this Knights Templar Montana guy. Kitten wins again. <laughs> did you did you just win another giveaway? No. No. Okay. <laughs> When your battleships have dead eye refuse to give up the proc to win. Dead eye for life. <laughs> I'm sorry, but if I win again this stream, I'm gonna actually be worried that your bot has a crush on me. I mean I have no idea the gender preferences of my bot. If such a thing exists. Look at the clock. 18 seconds to go. It is currently... Okay, so we're going to pause it with 13 seconds to go. 
If you can kill the Parsifal, you win. If you can't kill the Parsifal or the Shampar dies, you lose. Zoomed out with that shot. Like, not even looking with that shot. And... Boom! Second win talent with the Kraken, the heal, the reload buff, and of course, oh yes, the win. Wow, dude, that was definitely something. That was something right there, huh, guys? Nicely done, dude. GG indeed, right, Grumpy Shark? That's what I love about the replay theater. You never know what you're going to see till the end, although most of the time it's a win. Most of the time, it's a win. I love happy endings. Absolutely. I love happy endings. And that was definitely a happy ending. Wouldn't you guys agree? I played the fifth on that comment. What? You don't like happy endings? Are you worried that's going to... How are happy endings going to get you in trouble, Puddin? Ah! Oh! <laughs> Somebody got it. Look at this double carrier game. Triarch in the mines. Let's send him a ping. This is going to be interesting. Tier 8, top tier. Lots of battleships to farm. Good a good, good uh, reload on, on the mines. One quarter HE pen. You're up against two Lexingtons. And you've got a Kaga and a Lex. Hey, Mr. J won. Congratulations, Mr. J. You haven't gotten Captain Yamamoto to proc its Kraken special often, but when you do it, wins the game. See, Bear? That's why Yamamoto is so freaking awesome. Not enough losses. Theater win rate is too high. Raining? I agree. Um, Hamtastic, you should go take a look in the pictures then, because my death pick, it was not the greatest game, and my death pick was fantastic. I do what I can to make you look good, kitten. Yeah, it needs a lot of work to make so, you look good, so. Hamtastic? Yeah, yeah, Cthulhu's right. You've sent in wins, and I've ripped you apart on those wins, Cthulhu. <laughs> yeah, that's true. But it wasn't like, it wasn't, you know, I, I try not to do it in a way that makes you feel, like, embarrassed or bad for sending in the replay. Guys, this channel doesn't exist without people being willing to have their work looked at and examined and, and just talked through. Look at the conceal. Oh, are you? Yeah, you are. Oh my God, Triarch, you are you are the meme build. You are the maximum guns minimum conceal build right now. What is 17.1 kilometer? Ridiculous. Ha, <laughs> Cthulhu. Titans, yes. Exclamation point ticket gets you in for our uh, giveaway. You have to be a follower to win, and that's it. All you need, my dude. After this game, we'll do one more three-minute ad and some more marbles. And then we'll come back and continue some more replays. R.I.P. I'm do the joke. <laughs> You're explaining it to him? <laughs> Clearly he needs it. Puddin's, Puddin's PM, ladies and gentlemen. A happy ending at a massage parlor. Happy ending? You want a happy ending? Puddin, do you really think I didn't know what a happy ending was? You asked. I didn't ask. You guys all laughed and assumed. <laughs> Squizzer says, yikes! <laughs> <laughs> You sent I wasn't really offering. I wasn't really offering. Happy ending. Best ending. That's right, M13. How do you send a replay, Grumpy Shark? So there's two ways. Here it is in chat. You can either join my Discord. That's the easiest way. I've got a channel devoted to replay submissions. Or send me an, e an email with your replay in it. Either one of those are perfectly fine, my dude. And I would very much love... To showcase your replay and give you some feedback, man. 
Um, you can attach the replay file itself, or you can just post the WoWs replay link. Personally, I love it when people just attach the replay file because I do not like to know ahead of time what the result is going to be. We can always guess, right? But, you know, this is a great example of that as Treyarch is uh, taking advantage of his division mate, Red Gobler, um, putting smoke out for him. And that's allowing him to just, just sit there and farm, which is fantastic. Deadly says some of us are very predictable. Stream chat is getting interesting. Yeah, I did ask what was wrong with the happy ending because to me nothing is wrong with the happy ending. I'll just leave it at that. All I said was I plead the fifth. And that's correct. But but the the way I look at it is the the fifth amendment to the Constitution prevents you from. Um, Incriminating inc yourself. Thank you. Incrimin I was trying to think of the word. I just lost it for a second. Incriminating yourself. Right. So that's why I was very curious button about how you would be incriminating yourself with that response. Well, Snow Mongoose needs an adult. Obviously, he went to the same massage parlor as some other people who have been arrested lately. <laughs> <laughs> um, rub and tug like Patriots owner did last year before the Super Bowl. Puckhead. Uh, <laughs> we got 45 minutes until the the, the, the current Super Bowl. <laughs> are, are, are you going to make it? <laughs> Ooh, Atlanta. Now, the Mines is a great ship. I think it's been pulled from the premium shop, but if there's an opportunity to buy it again later, I highly recommend you pick it up if you love playing cruisers because that one quarter HE pen on those 150 millimeter guns is ridiculous. This is a Nuremberg at tier eight with the Nuremberg reload. Um, but I think there's one extra turret, right? Yes. Um, and uh, it's got the best AP DPM at tier eight. The best DPM. At tier 8. It was a limited uh, ship sale. Yes, it was. And look at the coordination between Triarch and, and Red Goobler already. The next smoke is coming. Red Goobler deserves um, some recognition here because he's basically sacrificing his own game so that Triarch can farm, baby, farm. Oops. Colorado got some good hits. That's okay. That just activates your adrenaline rush. Glacial, no, I haven't, and no offense, but I'm not going to look at that on stream. I'm scared to do so. Oh my. Corgan is exactly right. The fifth automatically points the finger and doubt at your innocence. A smart person always pleads the fifth, no matter what, when you're being questioned by the police. A smart person because just doesn't respond. Is... Go ahead. Because it is... You have the right to remain silent, and anything you say can be used against you. Yep. It doesn't say anything you say can be used to help you. Right. Deadliest prefers to plead the 19th. The 19th is allowing women to vote. Not sure how that helps you, Deadliest. And that's how you know I'm a social studies teacher, because I recognize that immediately. <laughs> And this year is the 100th anniversary of... Well, last year was the 100th anniversary of the 19th Amendment. Oh, insanity. Okay. Oh, Farragut. Just die already. Thank you. And of course, you got Loot Yens, because Loot Yens... So, that's the big win with this Plead the Tenth. Plead the Tenth, that's, um... Naturalized Citizens. And, um... Yeah, okay. But anyways, um... Loot Yens is a really good commander on any ship, and that's one of the things that I love. That is the Miranda rights, yes. Uh, the thing I love about Loot Yens with, with the Commander rework is you can put Loot Yens on a cruiser, on a carrier, on a destroyer if he's set to a battleship. Or if he's set to a destroyer, you can put him on a battleship, a cruiser, and a carrier. Like, it's so nice because you're able to just whore him out on so many ships. Powers 
not exactly explicitly granted the feds or preserved the states or the people. That's right, Duckman. You just don't talk. Name and social security number only. Oh my god, what is happening here? A lot of Americans can only name the second, and that's sad because of all the freedoms that come in the First Amendment. Okay, so we get we get our torpedoes on the Dunkirk and torpedoes on the Bismarck. Oh my god, you guys. I might have to replay this. Oh my god, we're gonna do instant replay. Oh my god, you guys. I might have to replay this. Look at this. Oh my god, we're gonna do instant replay. Was that crazy or what, ladies and gentlemen? <laughs> Grumpy Shark says, dude, what was that? That was that was Treyarch being a boss. Like a boss. He needs the sunglasses, the shades, and all that kind of stuff. 182,000 damage. Four kills. One kill away from uh, Kraken. And he was that close to killing a Belfast just now. That's balls. And he survived. Double strike drive-by. Yes. That's why we have our replays, our instant replays, so we can see some of the most epic games. Yes. <coughs> How did those two battleships come out of nowhere? They didn't. They pushed their way up the side. And they were, I'm sure, hoping to do something. Now look at Treyarch here, abusing the island. The island is the only thing that could spot him. The Colorado is behind this island. So there's nothing that can spot him. So he gets just farm for free because there's a Fen Yang over here. But the Fen Yang, I guess, is behind the island too. Brilliant positioning, Treyarch. Brilliant. Must be an old replay. Lol. Okay, let's see if we have a death pick here. We got one person targeting you. You are spotted now. And the Fen Yang is spotted on the other side of the island. So it's got to be the screen or scone. Skane? The spotting. I would put him about here now. Or here even. That would be even scarier. Because that's right on the side of the battleship. Uh, the carriers. Oof. If that's the case. Such and slaughtered. Hello. Good afternoon to you too. We covered your game earlier, dude. For those of you that don't, don't remember, that was Such and slaughtered on clan battles in Les Terribles. Losing the gunfight with the Benzin, but winning the overall game. Cheers, my dude. Full adrenaline rush. And, oh look, here's Red Goobler once again. To save your butt. 3.5. You're now in a destroyer level reload. Understand how ridiculous that is for a minute, guys. Destroyer level reload. I mean... I see nothing wrong with this at all. <coughs> nothing wrong with this at all. What could go wrong, Weekend Warrior? Nothing, of course, nothing. Nothing could go wrong. And that's game. All right, ladies and gentlemen, uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna switch over. I think it's time for a little bit more marble action. Thank you, Treyarch, for sending in that game. That was a pretty awesome game, my dude. Let's switch over to marbles. We're gonna pick out a random track. Oh, this one again. Dork Wizard! I'm doing fine, thank you. I love your name. Uh, all you have to do, guys, is hit exclamation point play in chat. You're going to come in. You're going to hit this uh, the funnel. You're going to come around and around and around. Whoa, 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 whoa. That's interesting. And you're going to come around. And then there's more stuff. And there's the finish right there. So, guys, what I'm going to do is I'm going to start a three-minute countdown. I'm going to go and... And hit the bathroom for a second, and whoever wins is going to win a subscriber camouflage. Right, Puddin? 
Uh, Marvel is going to be a CC container. I have a subscriber oh. going for giveaway. Never mind. I'm going to go ahead and join myself, and we're going to start the countdown, and I'm going to run a three-minute ad. I will be right back, ladies and gentlemen. Invitz Bismarck just resubscribed for four months. Why are you suddenly seeing ads? I don't I don't know, Duckman. But but thank you for your support, my friend. Hey, Invictus Bismarck resubscribe. Thank you very much, Bismarck Bot. If you've got a replay to send to me, please by all means do so. Using your free Twitch Prime sub. Thank you very much, my dude. What are we at? We've got like another minute to go. Alright, so we're gonna go ahead and convert to sitting down, because I've been I'm kinda tired of standing. So I'll, I'll let the camera enjoy the beauty that is Anchors Away Anaheim t-shirt. Ta-da! See? Anchors Away Anaheim. Doo -doo -doo. Okay. Minute left. It's about 5 o'clock, 30 minutes away from our unboxing. Good times, good times. Thank you so much. Well, I should I should thank people in a sec. I should wait. Oh my goodness! Fuckhead! <laughs> Yay, fuckhead! Oh my god! Look fuckhead at what he wrote. Seven hundred and seventy-seven just resubscribed for three months. Keep the good streams coming. <laughs> Maybe that didn't come out right. I mean, whatever. <laughs> Whatever indeed, my dude. Thank you very much for the resub. Last chance, guys. Exclamation point play. Get in, get in, get in. And here we go, ladies and gentlemen. 55 entrants. This is the part where we got dizzy before. As we get closer to the hole. Everybody's circling it. Ilium is the first one through. Grunty coming up next. And, oh, come on. Come on, Cam. What are you doing? What are you doing? Oh, there's a little bit of piece of glass right there. Sorry, guys. Here comes Ilium, Grunty, Artemis, Morgan. Let's take a look at Ilium. There he is. Take a look at Grunty. Artemis. As we now look, Ilium continues to go through the middle. You're grabbing another screwdriver. Vanth, dude. I'm way ahead of you, my friend. Cheers. Good to see you. I got my dirty water. And I actually have a little bit of... I have a little bit left. I need to kind of finish that. I kind of wonder if I should finish that today or not. Could be fun. Mm-hmm. Wampus underscore cat underscore is now following. Wampus cat, thank you very much for the follow. And what just happened here? Puckhead took the lead with that resub. Clear oh my god, look at that picture. Puck you, it says. <laughs> Wampus, long time no see. Come on, baby. You're doing double, eh? Me thinks you're ahead. There you go. 
I don't know. I started like th like two hours ago, so I don't know. We'll see. Puckett is still in the lead. Glacial in second place. Jason taking over second. Puckett gets through the next barrier quite easily. Come on, Jason, get that Puckhead. On the bra on the bright side, nobody has like died. Oh, Puckhead wins. Jason what? comes in second, Glacial third, backwards fourth, Cochlin fifth, Mr. J sixth, Farmalot seventh, 420 Physics eighth, Edge, or sorry, Ridger eighth, and Edernika's tenth. That there was you are, close. Sith. That was pretty close, actually. Oh, look, there's me. Who's in last place? Relic. Poor Relic. <laughs> Oops. Wrong button. Wrong oh, button. <laughs> Wrong button. I was trying to follow. There we go. There's Caper Hawk. And there's Relic. That's who I was trying to follow originally. There it is. Puckhead with the final win. Look at that. Look at all energy he's got. <laughs> uh. And then I can see what you guys are saying in chat. <laughs> uh, why am I suddenly seeing it? Says Duckman. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to go back to World of Warships as we have a Heart of Gumo replay set for us. In about 30 minutes, we'll do our unboxing video and probably finish a little bit more uh, replay action. Oh, and for those of you guys who haven't done so already, please make sure that you reset one of your lines in World of Warships because the reset, um, the times two for the reset refreshes, I think, like three days from now. I think it's on Wednesday. So if you haven't already reset a line, do so as soon as possible so that you can reset another line in a couple of days to get another times two bonus to your research bureau. Oh, Deadliest, I did not see that. All right, thank you very much. This is Dark Punk. We're capturing his replay. Now he's in he's in India, and I'm sure he's already asleep. But we'll let him know that we're covering his game. So he can come and check it out later. Deadliest said York. Alright, York. North. Was that a deadliest? It's a northeast north winter, the map. You never reset a line boycott the stupid regrind BS? I'm sorry, Sea Bear. I actually enjoy resetting certain lines. Some of them suck, but I enjoy re revisiting the lines. As some of you guys know, I reset all of my lines when Research Bureau first started. That was like 26 lines or something. And I reground all of them over the course of one patch. That was a glorious month. It really was. Sad, isn't it? Not anywhere near the research bureau anyway. Verth, take your time, man. You don't have to rush. Only five tier 10 battleships to go before, or tier 10s to go before you get the research bureau. Take your time, Duckman. Game's not going anywhere. That's what I love about it. People think they need to get this done now. They don't. Take your time. Do it when it's ready for you. Do it when you finish most of the other content and you just want something else to do. I mean, that's great. I don't plan on resetting any of my lines. It takes too long to reset. Katarne! 24 rank battles or research bureau resets for you. I win. Well, thank you. It took a lot, let me tell you, dude. I had a free XP every one of those lines up to tier 8. And then it was 200% first wins because it was during the 4th anniversary. And it was ridiculous, ridiculous how many research points I got. You got access to research bureau by paying up front for Heezen. There you go, Pocket. That's a way to do it, too. I know what you're talking about. And Harukumo versus Yu Yang. Come on, you should win this. Just hold down left mouse button, Dark. Don't keep clicking that mouse. That mouse doesn't need to die so quickly. Just, just hold it down. Hold it down. 
Hold it down. Wooster is using radar. Come on, keep going, keep going. Don't let go. Don't let go, my dude. Just keep holding me down. Oh, I'm sorry. Your name is Cart Ann. Cartane? Cartane. Cart Ain. Cart Ain. Got it. I'll figure it out at some point. So, some of you guys know I'm a teacher, um, but I'm really bad with names. It takes me a while to learn people's names, and I do apologize for that up front. I'm just bad with names. Um, <laughs> for example, I had a, a, a regular economics class one year. I always tell the story because it's fun. Semester-long class, I had three Mike R's in that class. Three Mike R's. One of them said, call me Mickey. Another one said, call me Mikey. Third said, you can just call me Mike, it's fine. It took me the entire freaking semester to figure out who was Mikey, who was Mickey, and who was Mike. And by that point, they graduated and they were out. So... Katarne, I will remember this. It will just take a while. Cartan. Cartan? Cartan. Remember, like, like Billy Zane. Cartan. Cartan. You just used 2 million free XP to regrind the Hard Goomba line in French Cruiser sign. There you go, Ash. Everyone is named Hey You! Damn right. <laughs> Asteroid, you finally got Ohio. Congratulations. It's a ridiculous ship, as you probably know by now. And look at this Moskva using radar to detect you. The funny thing Who about that... Who won the that, marble race? Who won the marble race? Um, that would be Puckhead. Mo, Daddy, I will never forget your name. Damn right I won't. Damn right I won't. Thanks for sticking around, dude. Good to see you're still here. Deal with a bunch of odd names daily. I would keep on the Moskva, by the way. He's lowest. Deadlia says he's got a very nice, easy to pronounce name. Absolutely. Forget the Kremlin. Focus the Moskva, because the Moskva... Like, you you can farm the Kremlin later from your Haru just fine, but the Moskva, like, you absolutely have to kill. In my opinion, of course. Because the thing is, even if the Kremlin's got, um... Uh, what's it called? Uh, Opizov, Kuznetsov, and the cam uh, Captain? I mean, it's gonna be hard to kill him. It's gonna take a while. Oh my god, did we get another raid? Oh my god, ducky shot, dude, ducky shot. Wow, ducky shot with the raid, thank you ducky, good to see you my dude. Actually met the dude a year ago and the hornet. You met the dude? I met the dude, I met ducky shots, he was there with his kids. Right Ash, get rid of the radar, exactly right. Welcome, Raiders, ladies and gentlemen. I am Lord Zath, and this is Lord Zath's Replay Theater. We are covering a replay from Dark Punk 1999. We are partying like it's 1999. And he's in the Haragumo right now. And I have dirty water, and I will take a drink, courtesy of all you fine people. Oh, by the way, why not use your reload booster and try to get another torp- Oh, wait, no. Never mind, the mosque is dead. Go That's away. right, Mr. Opp that's right. Hmm? The dude abides. The dude abides. Ducky underscore shot underscore Damn right. Raided my stream Gamer. With 10 views. Gamer bathwater says Ducky shot. You're not wrong, my dude. You're not wrong. I hope you're doing okay, man. It's been a while. I hope you're doing okay. Mo, Daddy, I don't know if there are going to be events this year. I really hope there are. And if there are, you better believe I'm going to some of them, if not all of them. So I hope to meet you too. Mo Daddy, where in America are you, if you don't mind me asking? I think you're in the United States. Uh, and the reason I'm asking is just so that if there is an event that is relatively near you, I can try to make it. I'm in Chicago. There's freaking nothing by me in Chicago except the U-505, which is a German submarine. And as you guys can imagine, especially with social distancing, there's no way in hell that we're going to put a couple hundred people on a German submarine. Mo, Daddy, you're in Texas? Okay. So you went to the battleship. Also, stuck in a museum. Well, right. So, Mo, Daddy, were you at the, the Texas um, uh, Anchors Away before? Mr. October, you're in Star Rock. Sorry, you're in Utica, Illinois. Is that correct, Mr. October? Utica? 
And that's how you know I've been there, I hope. Oh, you're in Peoria. Okay. Not too far away. Wait. Oh, Pe again, I got confused again. You said Peoria, and I'm like, what? Sith Kitten is from um, um, Tucson, which is in Arizona, and Peoria is a suburb of Phoenix. It gets confusing. Peoria is actually a city in central Illinois as well. You went to the Iowa before, but that's it. Iowa is fan. Dude, were you at Anchors Away? Mo Daddy? After two games, I now know why the Vanguard is being given away in boxes. See, Bear, it sucks. Don't play it except in, like, co op. With Bison, if you remember him. I don't, Mo Daddy. I apologize. Peoria is used in a lot of places. Well, yes. Oh, look, the Wooster wants you to be alert. That's cute. Because there's a thunder coming up, and you guys are like... You guys are like just demolishing this team. Do you guys see that? Like, you guys are just... You're just tearing them apart. Reload boost. Reload boost. Come on. Reload boost. What are you doing? Reload boost. Why not? It's easy. Reload boost. I'm, I'm pointing to it right now. Too late. Oh my god, Puckhead. You're in Yuma? That's not too far from you. That's south of you, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I know where Yuma is. Oh my god, you guys are like neighbors. More like, <laughs> um, west of us? That's like because in Hot Shots. Like, I'm spitting distance of Mexico. Yeah, Mo Daddy. Iowa is in Los Angeles. It's in Anaheim Harbor. And yeah, I was saying, like, Hot Shots, like, you know, and Hot Shots are like, Eagle River! Like, everybody knew each other. Love it. <laughs> it's either the imprint or another region of the country. Is, is Yuma a part of the Gadsden Purchase? I'm a geography teacher, so I'm very curious. I would have no clue. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. So the Gadsden Purchase is a piece of land that was bought from Mexico after the Mexican-American War because we thought that we could possibly run a southern transcontinental railroad through that land. It was relatively flat. We paid more money for the Gadsden Purchase than we did for all of Louisiana. And that's why Arizona's boundaries are that, that straight line going southeast and then that straight line going due east into New Mexico. One five thousand coal. Nicely done, Puckhead. Oh look, there's a Holland that wants to challenge your dominance. Okay. I might smoke here just so that the Holland can't shoot me, but okay. It doesn't really matter. You've won this game anyways. Oh look at you using AP. That's cute. And that is game. So that's the Harugumo. And now we're moving on to Deadliest's York game. After that, we've got Minotaur, Jervis, Nushishimi, Smallin, Shikishima. Guys, we got plenty of games to cover still. Those of you guys wondering what the plan is, check the chat there. That's my tweet with what's going on. Where my loot? What did I win? Missouri? Nice try, Duckman. Nice haul on the coal. Absolutely. 15,000 coal is not too bad. Deadliest, here's your York game. You are bottom tier. Oh, and look, Putin's on the enemy team and Griefer. Putin, you play with Griefer still? Wow. Yeah. Some familiar faces on this one. And also... I make a stupid mistake late on, but it's my Yorking before then. If I remember correctly, we were hunting down GP. Game Prodigy is on this team. I see it. I see it. Divisioned with 
Darkness. Game Prodigy, are you still here? If so, you get to watch yourself play the game. Isn't that exciting? Just in case, I'm going to ping you anyway, because I can be annoying like that. Hello. Oh, who that? Is is that Scheist? That is Scheist. Dude, man, where have you been? It's been like two weeks. Maybe three? I work a lot and do a lot of stuff. But are you making the monies? No. Oh, that's an F in chat. Well, I hope you've been having fun with the commander rework. I haven't. I'm going to pick your brain for a moment here. Oh, okay. Hi, Glacial. Um, Because you've had some time with it at this point, and I just need somebody to just kind of cut to the chase on some of the stuff. I'm like, don't do this, do this. That's okay. You'd be open to sure so what what class are you talking about first of all let me let me log out of the other game i'm on wait you play another game besides worships that's <clears throat> sacrilege how dare you yes no that's fine while you're doing that guys a york is the tier 7 german tech tree ship it does have one quarter hg pen which is okay uh it's been buffed recently so that's kind of neat but it's still a York. It's still a tier seven. If you oh, want you're streaming, I'm sorry, brother. No, dude, I, I don't care. Come on in. You're not the only one very curious about commander builds. Oh, Griefer is in a test well, ship. Hmm. Okay. Isn't there, you said something last time I was here, there's a spot. I see, I don't have two hours to sit and watch the podcast or whatever you guys did that went through everything. I see how I it is. I wish I did, but I just don't. I see how it um, is. Uh, it, don't take it personally. I watch a lot of your videos. Too late. Take I'm it one, personally. Yeah. Anyways. Um, okay. Well, you said there was somewhere on the website you go to push a button and reset all your captains. Yes. Um, do I have that available? To to that. Let me see if I can find the link for you because it's a special link. I'll find it. I'll find it. Thank you, Puddin. Hey, Puddin. How's it going, brother? I already found it. Too late. All right, Chase. I'll PM it to you. Okay. I'll, I'll put it into um, Code Steel's offers again because people need to see that. Make sure they remind themselves to do so. Is Griefer taking... too bad, Chase. Is Griefer naked in that? Is he not wearing camouflage? Oh. Huh. Oh, Deadliest, he knows we can hear him. It's all good. <clears throat> Wait, because this gets really good what happens to Griefer. Like, to the point of you might want to free cam to him. Which you probably shouldn't. Challenge accepted. Um, come on, game. Let me go. Oh, right. You want me to free cam to him now? There you are in the Florida. Now, put is in the tier seven Italian battleship that's coming up. And of course, it is currently yes, the in Florida test. Yes, the Florida is the Tier 7 Italian battleship. Well, no, the Florida is the American Tier 7. But the Caracciolo is the Italian battleship. Alright, now I remember when it's coming up. It's not coming soon. Great, so I went to free camp for no good reason. Thanks. It's going to be when the Synop pushes down that four-line four channel. Okay. 
Good to know. And don't worry, I'm just being I'm being silly. It doesn't matter. Oh, he is naked. Why would you take a, sh a test ship into the game naked? That just doesn't make sense to me. Okay. Because he's that skillful. Right. Right. Lewd. Oh, hey, kitten's back. Yeah. All right, so Deadliest is going to continue to move forward. He does have that one quarter HE penetration. 210 divided by by um, four is what, 52 millimeter? The key is it can pen 50 millimeter deck armor, guys. That's what matters the most. I apologize. I didn't want to tell you I was going because I didn't want to interrupt, so I just ran to go grab my catnip. All good. <clears throat> Raining recon says you have to test it out on all configurations. So, super testers do typically test the ship out in multiple different configurations. That includes command builds, that includes module choices, etc., etc. But, rarely do they test it out with no camouflage. That being said, hats off to Griefer for doing that because that does give Wargaming some additional data. Um, I know that Griefer also typically tests ships that are stock, so he does not upgrade the hull or the gunfire control or whatever else necessary, depending on the tech tree ship that he's testing. And that's good too. That's in, that's important information. Cthulhu, what did you miss? You missed so much, dude. I can't even cover everything you missed. I will say this, though. The York pissed me off the entire game. Delius pissed you off the whole game? Yeah, because he so actually played it right. Sir, <laughs> Bus, thank you for the follow. You do that? I think that deserves another Kit Kat. Alright, so whenever you have a moment, let me know, Zeth. When do I gonna have a moment, my dude? That's gonna be some time. What's your question? Oh, is it? Okay. I mean, I'm streaming now. I'll be um, streaming for at least another half an hour, so. Oh. What's your question? Okay, sorry. No, people well, are asking too, so just ask. I keep I keep seeing a lot of videos where people like uh, Flambass and and a couple other people that are talking about Dead Eye this and not, uh -huh. not Dead Eye and all this other stuff, and I don't understand all this shit. Mm hmm. So. People have obviously had a few weeks to toy around with it, and I'm trying to figure out, now that people have had time to mess with it, what do you think? Because you know how I play. I, I've I noticed do. a lot of the videos show a lot of battleships that are just sitting back camping now, and they're using different abilities to make that better. I've seen some videos where there was like a 12.5 kilometer secondaries on a Grobe Kerfurst or whatever that was just stupid. Oh, you might want to pause it and watch Griefer. Okay, so, um, I can roll shit back to the Well, I mean, that way you can answer the question too, but don't forget that I is getting reduced to 5%. Is it? Next patch. I is think it? So. What? Where did you hear this from, Puddin? I haven't heard of this at all. Uh, somebody said something in some chat. Oh, of course. Therefore, it's going to happen. I, you know what? Better safe than sorry right now. I'm trying to find it in the tree. Tier 4 skill. Or 4 point skill. Alright, so knowing your skill, Scheist, Deadeye is not going to be that helpful. Uh, because you're a pretty aggressive battleship player. Um, right. So it, it'll help you in the first salvo, maybe second salvo. But beyond that, you're just not going to do much. So I think... Oh, Griefer's going to take Torps. So I think you're far oh, better wait, off. So you're it saying it's really worse. good for captains without testicular fortitude. Oh, and he detonates too. Is that what you're saying? Yeah. It, it's, really uh, good. it's really good for captains that like to hide. Or who like to play mid. Who like to stay... Far enough away from the action to be discon to be like non-detected, but like, um, 
Oh, Game Prodigy's jumping in on this too. But, you know, like, so if you, some some people like yourself are good enough to understand how close to be to the battle to still be able to trigger Deadeye, but not be detected. And there's that right, fine like line. Missouri or something with low concealment. Right. There, there's that fine line there. A lot of players don't understand that right now. So, like, Deadeye can be useful for you as a battleship player, but with the way that you play, with how much you like to shove your bow in enemies' faces, you're probably better off going for a secondary slash brawler build um, to where you could choose to, to buff your secondary range. That's, that's up to you. But you definitely want close quarters expert, which is 10% uh, buff to your reload for your main battery and your secondaries. Right. And I mean, that eye is still going to be useful for you, but only in that first or second salvo, and that that's going to be it. Because you're typically right up there to where even when you're when your cooldown is active, you're still you know going to be detected, right? Because your base concealment range is so great. So you know you play you play up front and in their faces. I don't see that eye being that useful for you personally, but play around with an experiment if you want. I don't care. That's the whole point of this patch, is just experiment and have fun. Yeah, I reset all the captains, but you said that the, you guys were saying you can only redistribute your captain skills for, what, another week or so? Yes. You can reset them all once, and then after that, um, you have to do it manually. And you have until probably Wednesday of next week? Tuesday? Tuesday at the, yeah. at the earliest? To do that? Oh, look, Putin's getting farmed by deadliest. Makes a lot of sense. Mm -hmm. I would say, pick out your favorite battleship in the game. Ooh, that's a hard one. Okay. No, I am running Dead Eye on Florida. Oh, good to know. That's pick a out. really hard one because there's a lot of really fun battleships. Yeah, but but you're a Montana Georgia player, like through through and through. You're an American battleship player, so grab one of them, throw throw a dead eye on it, and just see what it does for you. Yeah, because Montana gets pretty low concealment, right? Whereas the Vermont is like you can see it from outer space, like the Fuso. Yep. Yeah, but through my logic, with the Vermont is you're always out of everybody's. You, you're so slow. Mm -hmm. who's spotted within your detection. Well, Vermont actually has a ridiculous range, and it gets access to the American accuracy module, so when you add Deadeye on top of that, it's great for sniping battleships that just want to be airfields. Or cruisers that want to just sit. Uh oh, Stevie's getting up. That makes sense. Mm -hmm. Poke around in here and see what I come up with. It's all good. I've got a lot of captains, so I've got to find the ones that aren't assigned to something. Right, that is precision, not accuracy. Damn right. Deadly is getting a fire there on Puddin. Deadly says, can I get an accuracy buff, please? Lol. I think John Doe was meant to be on the low concealment ship. Um, the Doe's and Halsey are really good for American battleships and heavy cruisers. I do want to thank that I at this point for forcing me to move so I didn't get torpedoed because he is the reason I moved. Mm. So in other words, you moved so that you would stay concealed so that you would get the, the dead eye buff and because of that you didn't take the torpedoes? Is that what you're trying to say? Well, I didn't want to get farmed down by somebody I couldn't see shooting HG. I I mean, how dare you?
And Nim, you're exactly correct. Yes, it does take a few games to get used to that aim. Heezen's not looking too good, though. So there's captain skills that can drop your concealment down, too. I mean, concealment I expert. There's concealment expert, yeah. That's it, really. Yeah, so I gotta get down and get that, and then did I? Mm hmm. Now, this is deadliest, so deadliest is probably gonna furnish us with a death pick. But well, let's see. Guys, when this game ends, it's time to do our unboxing and find out what Fabletics Men has sent me. I'm scared, but also excited. I'm scared for you. Well, thank you. I think. Oh, look, your heathen died. Don't sh- oh, never mind. Too late. You're detected. Shoot. Shoot her! Shoot her! Ah, oh, deadly you've been fine. I don't know what else to say other than you did a nice job of not getting killed. Here, I would pop the plane. I would pop the plane to detect where the Leon and the Florida were, and I would pop the plane to possibly detect where the New Orleans was. I think those ships are too far for the plane to spot them. It, but you know what the thing is? If the Leon doubled back, you need to know it. So if the Leon is like right here, Deadliest needs to know. And that's why I think popping the plane is really helpful. And your last known position, Puddin, was heading towards decap as well. So again, if you were right there, Deadliest needs to know. You were continuing, you were too far back. Dude, you're in a German cruiser. You're spamming HE at long range and getting HE pins, so... At this point, you don't want to be closer. It's four on four. At this point, you want your team to do work for you. The Gnaiza now is near you, but he's too far behind you. He's not going to help you in a 1v1 right now. So you want to slow down. You want to relax. You want to let him get up to you. And there he is. And look, there's the Leon. I'll bet you right now you wish you had your um, scout plane up so you could see the Leon was right there. Because the scout plane probably would have showed you his position. He said, go, 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 and you went. Well, problem is, he's behind you. And Puddin got the kill. Oof. It took some convincing to get the Leon to turn his butt around to go deal with Deadliest. Of course it did, but that's probably what's going to win him the game. Win you the game, I should say. All right, Deadliest. I will. What I will do is I'll take a death pick of you. Death pick. I'll take a death pick of you with with that uh, that Kerfurst right behind you. There it is, right there. Bow on. Damn right. Damn right. All right, here we go. Car first, can I an hour? Same thing. Same. Different. Did I say car first? I'm sorry. Can I an hour? What the hell? Did I seriously say car first? Yes. Uh, dirty water. I blame it on the dirty water. Of which I'm drinking more. Ooh. What's the matter, Scheist? I'm torn between super heavy AP shells or no. long range secondaries. Long range secondaries. If you've got CQC, long range secondaries means that your 10% main battery reload buff starts sooner. That's all you care about. Alright, Deadliest has pretty much lost. Let's see what happens. Guys, we're going to do our unboxing next. And then we'll do one last replay, and then we'll do one last marble run, and then we are done for the stream. You got some good death picks out of this due to the lighting. Well, yes, absolutely. It's nice lighting. I can see you moving around, checking her out. 
All right, so let's see. We're going to switch to zooming on me. I don't know how. Is that okay? I, I guess it's okay. I guess it's going to have to be okay because I've got this gigantic bag of stuff I need to check out. And I've been sitting here since Wednesday with this bag of stuff. So let's take a look at what's in this bag of stuff. And unfortunately, Stevie's not here anymore because I had, I had hoped that I could shove it in his face, but hold on. I got something from HelloFresh. Oh, neat. Okay. This is all thanks to Fabletics Men Ambassador, or Fabletics Men, by the way. I think I can do a, a quick shout out. <laughs> Chris Fala. Ah! I think I did that right. Yep. There's my link to check out the stuff that Fabletics is sending me and so many more. This is shorts. They're sending me shorts. Let's check this out. Let's take a look at this. See what this is. It smells like new. And these are shorts. They're they're blue. They're seventy dollar shorts. These are gifts from Fambletics. And these are lined shorts. I've never had lined shorts before, but they've got a liner in them, see? So so that that's good for me, you know, like like biking. And it's um oh I need to I need to clip this. And it's uh it's it's it it's got elastic so it stretches. Oh and there's a zipper. There's a butt zipper. And now I'm putting my hand in the butt zipper. The butt zipper is good. That that's for you know wallet, cell phone, house key, whatever you might need. There's a loop in the back to hang that up to dry, so that's kind of neat. Line shorts are a great squeezer. I've never had those before. I've never had those. So thanks, thanks to um to, to uh, Fabletics, I have an opportunity for this. Guys, I don't wear a lot of high high expense, high cost clothing. I, I really don't. So I'm like looking forward to all this stuff. Those are bigger enough. They might fit you, Duckman. What do we got here? This looks like just a regular t-shirt made in Vietnam. The 2470. It is breathable, anti-stink. Okay. Four-way stretch, shirt wicking. $35 value. MSRP. There it is. It's a white t-shirt. Krimoa, what's up, Krimoa? I don't know about you guys. I'm not a big fan of white t-shirts, but I'll, I guess I'll have to wear one. I'll stay away from water when I wear it. Next up. They sent me a lot of stuff, guys. They sent me a lot of stuff. Okay, let's see. Let's see. Oh, Sir Bot, did I thank you for following? I think I did. Okay. Oh. This is... Oh, this looks cool. This looks really cool. I just have to open the bag. Come on, bag. Open up. I like Hulk opening it. Okay, here we go. What is this? This is like a blue color. This is a training day tea. This is breathable, anti-stink, sweat wicking. Look at this. This is kind of nice. It's it's blue. I could see my... So some of you guys know I'm a teacher. And you know that I, I bike to school every day. I could totally see myself biking to school in this. And by the way, there is a giveaway going. Exclamation point ticket. Could you win? Got to be a follower to win. And it's, it's definitely got this moisture resistant material. This is made in China. Designed in Los Angeles. Hmm. Okay. I might have to check this one out. It's too bad Stevie's not here. I was going to toss a shirt at his face. Maybe I'll toss that white shirt at him. Uh-oh. This is thicker. But yeah, that, that would be a nice shirt for biking. I have to check that out. This looks cool. What is this? This is the post-game hoodie. Sweat wicking. Anti-stink. MSRP of $75. Holy crap, guys. Guys, I hate shopping for clothes. Some of you guys might know this. Some of you probably don't. I, I hate shopping for clothes. The Stevie test. Line the shirts up and see which one he lays on. Deadliest? That was the plan for today, but he's walked away, the jerk. Here it is. This is cool. It's a it's a nice deep blue with gray 
uh, on the side, like a like a deep blue gray, and it's a it's a it's a hoodie. Um, that's gonna be nice. I'm gonna enjoy this, and it's got of course the pockets in the front. See where my hand's going? Yeah. So so you know, there's that too. Okay. And I think I've got a couple more things, one or two more things to open, maybe one. One more thing to open, guys. Bike to school and not stink. That's right. You're going to need to see my bike, Stone Mongoose. Uh, Stone Mongoose, take a look up. Uh, look up. Um, so my winter bike is a... Um, shoot, what is it? It's a giant. Giant Escape. Uh... It's it's a beater bike. It's heavy and and pain in the butt to drive. But my summer bike is a 2017 Diverge Specialized Diverge. Love that bike. 2017 Diverge Carbon Comp. It's a great bike. It's a light bike. I love it. Oh look at this! I got sweatpants. I can be Captain Sweatpants. Captain Sweatpants. This is the post game jogger. Anti stink and sweat wicking. Seventy dollars. In value, got a long. The tag's got this like long strip on it. It's kind of interesting. How far is my bike ride? It's about four and a half miles each way, glacial. It's got it's got this nice, nice uh, you know, elasticity thing going. It's a nice color of blue, huh? Although the blue's a little bit off. I think I need to check the white balance in my camera. It's, it's slightly right, slightly off. I don't know. I'm colorblind, so I could be screwing it up. But anyway. That looks nice. So, guys, next weekend, you will see me streaming in at least some of these clothes. Now I have pants to wear. Duckman, you're you you're making a joke out of it, but I legit told Fabletics, my my contact at Fabletics, I'm like, guys, I now have pants to wear on stream, and they were like, huh? <laughs> so, so that works. Yes, specialized diverse snow mongoose. It's a great. Great bike. All right, what do we got for timing? We got time. Minotaur. Beater bike is a requirement if I ride to your run. Damn right, Snow Mongoose. Tedster's here. A lot of after game stuff. Nothing for for the game. Chris Vala. You're not wrong. Uh, there's a couple things that might be for the game, but it's it's almost like if you're working out for the game. So I don't know. I don't know. We'll see. Cries in five bikes. What do you have, Snow Mongoose? Shice, dude, don't ever apologize for stepping into the stream, my dude. It's all good. Because you are asking questions that other people asking or have questions about too, so it really doesn't matter. You know I wear pants. You got proof when you go to the feet cam. The feet cam, right? Like the like the the, the feet cam? The feet cam? Eee, feet cam. I'm playing footsie with my viewers, that's weird. All right, next vexed. Thank you for the follow. By the way, who is this? Powa and Squid. Oh, Squizzer! Squizzer, this is your game. Squizzer, please tell me you're still here. Yeah, it's mine. Oh, hey, there you are. How's it going, dude? That's all right. Thanks for that gifted sub earlier, man. That's clutch. That's all right, mate. It's all good. Oh boy. Rally professional, you can barely ride it out. Duckman, get on that bike. Do it. Snow Mongoose, carbon road, BMC, steel, SSCX, bar bike, dirt jumper, trail bike, and CXMTB. Nice dude. That That tells me that one, you you have a you have a biking hobby, and two, you have a biking hobby. <laughs> like like you spent probably way too much money on that. Okay. You're in a division. Squizzer with another Minotaur. You are Radar. I'm guessing that means that that other Minotaur He's is smoke. smoke. He's Smoke. Yep. yep, yep, yep. That's ridiculous and dirty, and I love every bit of it. Yep, uh, you'll, you'll see. Duckman, you need a comfy city bike. <laughs> there you go, Snow Mongoose. <laughs> I just, just, Australian. Really? You think I'm Australian? Jesus. I just deleted a freaking uh, Minotaur. Congratulations. Squizzer, so good. so if you're not from Oz, where are you from, my dude? Uh, UK. Oh, UK, okay. Nice. Where in the UK, if you don't mind me asking? 
the South England. Okay. So are you near Portsmouth? Uh, no, no, a bit more east of that, Kent. Kent. Castle way. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. I was supposed to go to Kent a few years ago when we were gonna go to uh, uh, to Paris via the Dover Straits because a lot of a lot of tour groups go to Kent. Hmm. Interesting. Yeah, we ended up taking the uh, the channel instead. Uh, Euro Tunnel, fair enough. Take out Folkestone. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, on uh, Eurostar or whatever? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's good. It's the best way to get across the channel, to be honest. Oh, God, quicker. yes. What was it like? It was like, that, I think that, it was... That boat's painful, especially in the autumn, Jesus. I've heard stories, my dude. <laughs> oh, man, man. You don't want to know. But I've also heard that it's beautiful if it's a nice sunny day, which is rare. But if it's a nice sunny day, the cliffs of Dover yeah, are awesome. <laughs> yeah, these, you get the most sunny days in Kent. Anywhere else, not really. Mm. In the UK, anyway. Sorry. It happens. Mm. Duckmen were drinkers with a bike problem. Duckman, that that's that's how it comes, and that's how it goes, and that's the best way possible. I actually have a I have a T-shirt I bought from Prague. It's got a bike. With a with a beer mug in the drink holder. Totally right. Except I can't do that to school, but you know, <laughs> very much how I live my life. Now, okay, I'm curious. Why are you ahead of your division mate, who's smoke? Uh, it's because I see the DD on this on the other side, and I know there's no DD coming from this middle cap, so okay. I'm pretty safe to just take it. That's a good point. There's only one destroyer in this game. Kid was spotted at Alpha. Well, the other, well, the other one got absolutely smashed right at the start, trying to go for the um, other cap. Yep. Oh, he died already. You're right. Freeze yeah, time. Yeah, he got he got slammed. I overshoot the cap as well. It's annoying. So the British light cruisers just don't want to stop. They're they're great at accelerating. They just can't stop. Yeah. Snow mangos do that on the way home from school. Um, I've had a couple of days where I've stopped off at friends' places for alcohol, and then biked home. But I don't, yeah, I don't drink alcohol on the way home from school most days. Nice, easy base cap, because the enemy team just left it to you. Mm -hmm. You have a funny story about you in England, Rainy. He flew in the Heathrow. <laughs> with this high school. <laughs> so, raining, I had the exact opposite. My first experience in the UK. It rained every single day I was doing touristy things. And it was nice and dry and beautiful the days we were traveling. It so yeah, it so sounds pretty typical of the weather in the UK, that. My first, uh, we flew into to Heathrow, beautiful, sunny, gorgeous day. The next day, it was, we were at Stonehenge, and the, the morning at Stonehenge was beautiful. Uh -huh. We were there for sunrise, gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous. Lovely. Yeah, and then um, that day itself was, was beautiful as well. Then the, then the day after that, we're like, oh, let's go to the Tower Bridge. And then proceeded to rain so hard that people were screaming. So we're like, this isn't people good. People were screaming it rained so hard. Yes, <laughs> it didn't li rain before. Literally, people were screaming, and I'm thinking, all right, if people are screaming, that's pretty bad. I mean, it was coming through our umbrellas. That's how like how heavy <laughs> the rain was. Wow. Um, wow. So it was we raining sheets. Pretty much. Oof. Yeah. So we we yeah, ran to uh, we ran to the Tower of London because we figured, hey, why not? And. Uh, found a tour group that was going through places and just fell in with mm -hmm. them and we were good because we were, you know, undercover. Mm. That worked well. Nice. Uh... Go ahead. What was that? No, you first. You one more good. I was just saying, you know, good job getting out of there without dying. For now. Yeah, I just keep getting radar. I just get radar by the, um, is it the Moscow in that camp? Or is it an Alnivsky? I don't know. Uh, it might have, no, it might have been the Salem. Is that the Salem? Is that the Salem? It might have been the Salem. Yeah, I just got split second radar and that just confused me. Good spot here to stop and just farm. So what were you going to yeah, say about like... London? Uh, it, it's an odd city. <laughs> yes, it is. 
It's unconventional is the best way I can put it. Worst traffic in Europe somehow. Which is interesting because the city center itself is great because of the congestion charge, but... <laughs> yeah, that's controversial, that one. <laughs> I, I know. I know. <laughs> I, so I teach economics. We talk about uh, congestion charges quite often, actually. Oh, fair enough. It's like, it's like the um, bike schemes that go on in London and just people getting angry about them. I mean, when you can cross six lanes of traffic with like just a couple of taxis, it's kind of neat. Mm, true. And the other thing about congestion charges, it means that most of the cars that you see, aside from taxis, are like Jaguars and Aston Martins and, you know, other luxury cars and vehicles. <laughs> Because those yeah. are the people that can afford to be in the city and drive around, you know? Yeah, everyone, everyone else just take, just take the tube. It's easier. Well, yeah. We stayed with somebody that was in... Um, shoot, I don't remember where it was. It was at the end of the um, uh, the Piccadilly line. <laughs> yeah, the, the London Underground Network is such a spaghetti, I wouldn't even know. Yeah. I love it though. I really enjoyed London. I had a it was my first my first major city abroad that I visited and the fact that everybody spoke English made made it so nice. Um Oh yeah. But just the the amount of history that that was like recognized in that city was great. Yeah. And you're just mashing the M key because you want to kill your keyboard? <laughs> no, I'm just looking over the eye and see where the Salem's I, going. I know, I'm just messing with you. So ah, fair enough. That that's that's a fun trick, guys. If you hit the M key and you if you time it right, you can see above, kind of like a spotter plane view, so you get an idea of what enemy ships are doing. And so what Squizzer's trying to figure out is is the Salem reversing or moving forward? Because if he's reversing, he needs to get ready for, you know, that encounter. I could use my torpedoes to do it, but I just ended up doing that. Mm-hmm. Oh, that's right. You, no, you can go to Torpedo View and just, just watch him that way. That's yeah. true. That is very true. A lot of tequila before moderate hey, evening right. do you have to be out of detection for Deadeye to work? Or yep. is it just, that for, just your range? Okay, so for Deadeye, it's interesting. Because you have to be out of detection, but you also have to have nobody detected in your detection. So if you've got a Shimakaze that's detecting you at, say, six kilometers away from you, Deadeye still works. But if that Shimakaze opened up his guns on you, then Deadeye no longer works. So it depends on who's detected mm. in your circle. So, like, for example, Squizzer here, you can see his circle. Nobody's in his circle. If he was a battleship and he had Deadeye, Deadeye would be activated right now. Well, I did 130,000 damage first game out, so mm -hmm. it's kind of pathetic. I can do better. Deathliest, that is true. It has to be outside your standard detection. So if you fired your guns, I think it's also applies, yes. I'm going to take the same captain and put it on a Missouri and go try that. And don't worry, ladies and gentlemen, we have asked Wargaming to freaking put something on the game to tell us if Deadeye is active or not. And they have responded with... We got it, thank you, it's coming. <laughs> so we shall see. I'm gonna try the same thing with my Missouri with super low concealment. Oh, there you go. It's interesting, trying to trying to figure it out. Mm-hmm. It feels like they just took the game I've played for <laughs> seven years and threw it in the trash and said, here you go. Holy crap! <laughs> Black Soul Razor with a party of five. Thank you very much, Black Soul Razor. Black Soul Razor, greetings from Sur of Latam. Greetings to you, Black Soul Razor. Sur, great clan. Good to see. Oh my goodness! <laughs> Gee, back to back raids. <laughs> ah. Oh my god. Half a fodder with the raid. 143 people coming in. Holy crap, ladies and gentlemen, I need another drink. Cheers to all of you. <laughs> you know, I'm thinking you may have to stream a little late today. Hapa rigged? Yeah, you know what? Uh, give me a second. Let me text Z wife. Uh, 
Let me make sure it's cool with her. I got a message. Oven preheating is. Oh, I, I'm fine. I'm fine timing wise. I'm good. And we're doing great, Hapa. Sticky. Whose voice is that? That's my voice, Hapa Fodder. Oh my god, raining, uh, that's hilarious. Here comes the dirt, here comes the dirt. I see that. You, you got yourself detected by the Hindenburg, but that's okay. You guys just tore him apart. Why oh. Hindenburg? Right? <laughs> this thunderer. <laughs> Zath, are you dibbed up? No, I'm covering replays, my dude. That's I'm not now. in the game right now. I was wondering why I couldn't message you. There you go. Ladies and gentlemen, raiders from both raids, thank you very much for being part of here. raided my stream with 143 viewers. I proceed to get very, uh, very, um... Panics by this part of Vostok. Address 780 is now uh, following. My, my stream today is like a medieval town on the edge of a Central Asian steppe. Hmm. <laughs> Demon underscore guard is now following. Oh my god. Andres, thank you for the follow. And Demon Guard as well, thank you for the follow. Brad0060, thank you for the follow. Brad0060 is now following. Have a fodder, you too, my dude. Thank you again for the raid. Good to see you. I hope you're having fun as always. No boundaries. Thank you very much for the follow. No underscore boundaries 45 is now following. Bye, Hapa. You're some little kitty kisses. Oh my god, raining recon with a cheer! Raining recon cheer X10. Turns out the sponsored raid stream <laughs> yeah, was one week too early. Happen. Having it this week would have been more appropriate, Kappa. Lol. Yeah, all the raids. That's your raids. All the raid. Yeah, there you go. Two torpedo hits there. A lot of people forget about the Minotaur's torpedoes. They are spicy indeed. And that, and that's a double perma flood because I got a flood on the last salvo before. I'm pausing the replay for a second. I'm pausing it. And I'm face palming. That's great, by the way. But I'm face palming because look at the game right now. What the hell happened to your team, my dude? <laughs> All my battleships got vaporized. <laughs> oh my god, you made me jump. Well, thank you. But, <laughs> oh my god, this is just, this is, where did they go? Uh, did uh, I am me? Did I? Don't I? Know, man, Blake. What team, Deadliest says? <laughs> <laughs> Power and I just end up going round in circles around this island for about 10 minutes just trying to just <laughs> oh, pushing I can, the beacon. I, I can see it because you need to kill that flag. You have to prevent B from being capped because A is yours. If you can hold B, you can hold on to a point lead, which you guys still have despite his being two on six right now. <laughs> this is great. Yeah, this is great. Uh, it's, it's oh, ridiculous. That's wait, what it is. wait, but then there's an Iowa in front of you. Okay. Yeah, yeah, I proceed to lose, yeah, my mind. <laughs> I mean, I like the idea of stopping here because that Iowa prevent, completely prevents you from going after that flag. Yeah, I had to, I tactically had to beach in order to stop myself because uh, the engine. This is where you ask your buddy to get up here. Okay, good, he is. Yep. Now, I yeah, would... He... Now, he's outside of the cap anyway, so it's not going to help. Oh, you guys were right, dead I am me. Miner69 who says dead eye is OP. Wasn't this two light cruisers versus Yammy players but sitting next to an island all game? Right? Wasn't this dead eye wasn't this two light cruiser versus the you're not wrong. Guys, those of you jumped in a raid, welcome. Welcome. Thank you all for being a part of, of the raid and sticking around with some of your favorite streamers, Happer Fodder. Uh Hap Hapa Fodder, I should say, or Black Soul Reaper. Um, very much appreciated. Right now we are Taking a look at a re uh, replay here. This is Squizzer 14 in the Minotaur with a division mate. It is literally these two versus the world. We decide to go on a Goliath's charge at this point. I mean, what else are you gonna do? Yeah. We're just trying to. I'm just trying to torp rush this uh, this Iowa to get him out of the cap. 
Well, I would do that, but I might I might go to single fire torpedoes there because that that's a that's a guaranteed kill with single fire torps. He's got, yeah, I know single fire, but I was just trying to. Yeah. Yep. Yep. And also now like. I've got a thunder on my bow, and then I'll never ski on my bow at this point, so I'm just... Oh yeah. my god, are you gonna get Solo Warrior? It's five, it's four against one. You could possibly get Solo Warrior. It's been a while I, since we I covered could, that. I guess. Yeah, don't... No spoilers now. But it's still it's so hard. Well, it's hard work. I've still got, what, two oh, and god, half, yes. three and a half minutes to get through. You have three minutes to go. You will win on points. You are currently capping. You've got 10 seconds left on your radar, which is going to be very, very helpful. You're a minute away from your next heal. Taurus is just another reason to hate Minotaur. Minotaur is a great ship. Minotaur is a great ship. It's amazing. Oh, this Nevsky. Oh, okay. I want, to, I want to know where the uh, Thunderer is, because if he was still where his last known was, I was in major problems. But now I know he's gone for the cap, I can just focus on this Nevsky. Right, and the Nevsky is and low enough. I've got this island cover, I should be fine. Shooting there, though, that kind of hurts a little bit, because... Yeah, I know, I forgot that there was the guy um, a long way back behind me. Because the Nevsky is able to, to recognize your threat and turn in because of that. That's yeah. okay, though, because you're able to go and essentially intercept, although the Nevsky is getting you on Hydro. Hmm. Snow Mongoose, the Minotaur is great fun. Every ship up until it is is frustration, but Minotaur is bliss. Yeah, Minotaur is just... Like, it's got a bit of everything. Good use of radar there, or Hydro there, I mean. I sort, would... sort of realized that... One and and forty five seconds left. Fiji is left. Snow mongoose. Yeah. But I'm sorry. Tier seven. I, it just doesn't cut it anymore. Once upon a time, two years ago, tier seven was fantastic as a tier. Now everybody cares about tier eight, nine, and ten. So I don't know. Do you have propulsion mod upgrade? I, I mean, it's either that or or. or Damage control party two, so you probably have propulsion, right? I didn't think they got those. Oh, steering gears. It's steering gears because propulsion is baked into the ship. What am I thinking? Yeah. Can the Minotaur get fire ribbons? Yes, it's got secondaries. No, Minotaur doesn't have secondaries. It's only got AA guns. Are you serious? Yes, it's only got the 76 mil AA guns. Has no secondaries. Green I thought those were secondary. Okay, never mind. No, they're not. They're AA only. Is now they're AA okay. only. Fair enough. That's ridiculous. So you can't even get a wither. Well, you can get a wither with flooding. You can. You have to get flooding. Yeah. A lot of flooding. All right. Fair enough. Fair enough. Green iguana. Thank you for the follow. Uh, we do I have a giveaway this... going. So go ahead. I think of this game. I'm running full torpedo reload spec on this mino. Yeah, it's going to be okay. You're a discount destroyer in this game. We have a giveaway going, ladies and gentlemen, to Lunar New Year and to Journey to the West Containers. Time is up and you win on timing. You not the yep. Good thing they gave me a head, did I? Good thing the Yes, very much so. Very much so. All right, guys, in honor of the raid, we are going to do. Here's what we're going to do. Um, we're going to run one more replay. Then I'm going to do a three minute ad. We're going to get into our last marbles on stream and check that out. And then and then that'll that'll be it. OK. Results may vary, Harley Quinn. Absolutely. Do drop the bold with a follow. Thank you, do drop the bold. Remember, you guys have to be a follower to win. Exclamation point ticket is all you Jono need to do. 233 is now following. Jono, thank you for the follow as well. One second. Magic cool. Thank you for the follow. Magic cool is now following. Who jam is here? That's all that matters. Who jam? Good to see you, Squizzer. Is this another one of my, this is another yeah, one of mine. this is another one of yours, you jerk. 
<laughs> I, I, I didn't choose it. No, you didn't. I chose it. Guys, just so you guys know, people send in replays. I picked the ones that I wanted to pick. I currently have 87 replays submitted to me. If you want to submit your own replay, you can join me there on Discord or email. So I picked the Jervis because we haven't seen a lot of Jervis lately. I, I, I have a soft spot for mid to low tiers. And so here you go. Is this this is a different person you did with though? Uh, it's the same guy. Is it? It's, it was on the same. This is on the same day. <laughs> These are back to back games. Very nice. The Minnow game was the one after this, I don't believe. Oh, wow. Okay. Fair enough. Admiral oh, Revan! I'm sorry, what hey, was that? Revan. What was that, Puddin? It wasn't Puddin. It was Scheist. Oh, I'm sorry, what was that Scheist? I said, I said, oh, Zath, I'm making a secondary build for my turpits. <laughs> you better. <laughs> you better. Puddin with the shout out mm. for Admiral Revan. Admiral Revan's a really cool dude. He's an Aussie from Brizzy, Brisbane. Yeah, uh, really cool dude. 23 is now following. And I'm, I, I gotta say, man, what a hero. He's literally saved lives. As Stevie, Stevie comes in and says hello. Give me a second, guys. I need to pick up my kitty. What? I think he just had some food. Let's get him off of the... Off of that, let's get the lap cam going. And there he is. Yeller 123, thank you for the follow, by the way. Hi. Such a lover. Okay, we're gonna have to do the Stevie test pretty soon. Once he gets in the bed, we'll, we'll do the Stevie test. Hopefully he'll get in the bed next, like, 10 minutes. We'll see. Because right now, he's he's happy to have human interaction. Puddin is doing a drawing, by the way. Looks like. I already did it. Oh, did you? Who won? I am done. Oh, okay, cool. Very nice. Now this is estuary. I do like that you're in the cap, although I'm curious about the legal next to you. <laughs> he's about to realize that that was a mistake. I have a feeling. Yeah, he's about. He's probably gonna get power shipped. Can't I mean, there's a Nagato right there. So, yeah. I like how you're following his torpedoes. Eh. I'm just looking at him, thinking, "What are you doing?" <laughs> right? And the important thing is you got the cap before he got reset. So that, that gives <laughs> you some freedom to move around. Oh, reversing Zara. Okay. Now opening up gets you detected. So that makes you think that maybe there's something over here. Nope, not anymore. Okay. It just got air detected, so it yep. wasn't that... Who jam? 5k XP, two sets of camo, one day of premium. Congrats. Would I sign a petition to put flag secondaries on the new German destroyer line? No. <laughs> and, and I don't mean to be a jerk by saying that do drop. Um, I don't know. Do. Why, why? Why do I need it? I'm not trying to be a jerk. I'm just simply saying. Until I've had a chance to play the ships on a live test situation, I have no idea if it's if it's worth doing or not. By the way, you've got the gold camo, don't you? Banked gold camo. Yes, you do. Yes, I do. Pretty shiny. 
good for XP. I was regrinding the uh, British DD line. Mm hmm. For the memes? Well, okay, sure. Memes are fine, but when it comes to ship uh, to, to game balance, I, I don't want something that. Um, that puts the game balance out of whack. Now, I don't know if that does or not, but like the way I see it, like let, let's allow the, the ships to be tested properly first before we worry about what they can and can't do. And I'm saying that both as a CC and as a super test coordinator, by the way. A lot of Doesn't people- really makes sense to change anything before it's been tested, does it? Bingo. I wouldn't sign for anything simply because of memes. There you go, Raining. They are an AA focused line. Okay. Well, let's let Wargaming discover if those if that AA focus is worth it or not. If it is, great. If it's not, well then Wargaming can do something to fix it to make it more anti-air focused. Maybe being what you have out there. Harley Quinn, I'd love to be able to, to hang out with you. Why did you leave the cap, Squizzer? Uh, yeah, I yeah, I remember this. Brain fade. <laughs> yeah, yes. I thought like at the time. Okay. <laughs> See, the the right answer, the right answer when this happens is you wanted to extend the game just that many seconds longer so that you could farm more XP. Deadliest got it. Did I miss a time extension? Well, it was kind of a time extension because he left the cap, so sure. <clears throat> but yeah, That's Harley. Game I, I wish we could have met up. I know I know you were here with Sergeant Slaughter, and it would have been fun to meet you guys both. Uh, unfortunately, thanks to the pandemic, it didn't happen, but there's always the future, and I know he's coming, so we'll meet someday. All right, dude? Cheers to you. Insert re cover Everybody derps. <laughs> Everybody derps. At least now you get to camp while farming some damage. Alright, so now you get to deal with the Bliska Vika because you haven't seen that in a long time. He's either up in front of his team, or he's behind coming back for you. You're not located. I don't know that a Bliss build would, would include radial location, but it's there anyways. And of course, the Jervis has a 360 degree rear turret, which means you can just gladly switch one way or the other. Yep. It's kind of nice. Hey, it's much as good for chasing. I'm having some second thought, Z, about that contain that camo I give to somebody. Uh oh, why? What's up? Well, now I have that friggin' REM song stuck in my head, ex except I actually hear him singing "Everybody Dirt." <laughs> Co <coughs> Cocklet. Stevie, what do you think about that? He's just looking at me like. Get your ass out of this chair and go make me some bacon. That's the look he's giving me right now. Get your ass out of the chair and make me some bacon. He's staring you down. He is. He really is staring me down right now. I made the mistake of letting him try bacon. It will never come back from that. Never. So Bliska spotted again, heading southward, maybe? Ah, well, we'll see. No, that's, just, that's the same that's, position. That's the same position. Okay. So you haven't seen him in a long time. Fair enough. And guys, that that's something you have to think about when you're playing the game is where could the Bliska be? Now, you opened up here partially to detect the enemy, but in the process, you were detected yourself, which tells you... Yeah, that tells me the Bliska's or something's near. Yep. Or the Fuso. I mean, you're within range visual yeah. spotting the Fuso, yeah, yeah. so... Of either of the Fusos, yeah. Mm-hmm.
but you pop the smoke and guess what you get to you get to it's another free cap that's all The better question is why is the Blitzker not hunting him down? Because I was the... asking that question too. Yeah, but you know what? If there's only one destroyer each team, the the Blitzka might be thinking, I just want to torpedo the enemies. And, and and spot for him and stuff like that. So I could definitely see him up in the front here. And besides, guys, look at the ship counts. I mean, technically the Blitzka's team is winning. Right? Our team's left a Zara in the south that's just like gonna roll up behind them now. Yep. Oh, look, there's the Bliska. Alright, Luck I Chuck. I don't want to fight that. Oh, Dev Strike and the Marblehead, that's good. Yeah, you don't want to fight that, not right now. I might Luck Chuck some Torps this way. Yeah, it's probably should have done. Oh, good. Oh, this Bliska. Take the Torps. Take the Torps. He's turning. He's turning. He's going to take one. No? Uh, one, one. Oh, no. It's lucky, that. Very lucky, that. It looked close. It looked close as all hell. Yeah, you managed to thread him. Yeah. Impressive. And also impressive is the fact that you are now losing the game even harder. Congratulations. Yeah. My squad mate and I were crying. So you come no, from one game that was a hard carry that you you basically are losing to another game that was a hard carry that you're basically losing. All right. Yes. As is as is the current state of the game. Right. Torn on that being forced to play around the weakness of your ship as well at the game. Oh, that's very true. Stevie is still looking at all of you guys. Yes, he is. He's like, my dad needs to go now. <laughs> Rawr! I need bacon. He does kind of have this look on his face, right? Like, it's time for, for dinner. <laughs> When is the human going to make him a bacon sandwich? So you need to get bacon on your pizza. So we've trained Stevie that um, he'll, he'll sit behind me as I eat food. But we've trained him that, that anything that's on the floor, he can eat. So we take like my plate and I'll put it on the floor and he'll just jump down there and start chowing down on whatever's left. He loves marinara sauce. He loves tomatoes. He loves bacon. But he does not like broccoli. This is a wise cat, very wise cat. So what kind of pizza is tonight? Tonight is a Gino's East deep dish cheese pizza, which I can smell already. And um, I got the notification because we, we've upgraded our appliances. So I got the, up, uh, the notification that preheating was done in the oven 28 minutes ago. So assuming that the, my wife put the pizza in at the exact time of preheating finishing, I've got a twenty another 20 minutes until that first portion of baking is done. And then we let it sit for another 20 minutes after. So I've got 40 minutes until I need to take it out of the oven. And that was 28 minutes ago. So 20 plus 20, 40... No, 50. 
50, so that's 20 plus another 20. So I've got 40 minutes from now. About 7 o'clock. Right now, but I can see another solo warrior coming. Looks like it. Looks like it. Dude, if you've got two solo <laughs> it, it, warriors... It, it, it's the same thing. Oh, dear. It's the same sort of situation again. Except it's a bit harder because I'm not in a cruiser. Yeah, deep dish beats yeah. a casserole. Well, there you go. Yes, Shice. 236 secondary hits in the first game. If you can, I mean, you're aggressive in your battleship play, and like, that's great for secondary builds. You know, like I love it. A lot of people don't understand. Damage. When when they see a battleship pushing, they they run. You know, like that's awesome. Yeah, but the turpits. It's like who All right. runs from turpits. Squizzer. Are you about to get two solo warriors in a freaking row? Because that's ridiculous. That's effing ridiculous. I'm sorry. I've never seen that before in World of Warships. And I kind of don't want to see it. So no offense. I've, I've never seen a solo <laughs> warrior of my own. Let alone two of them. <sighs> All right. You're ahead on points. They are capping A. When that happens, they will win on time. But you only have 3 minutes and 37 seconds left. So... You need to get into the sea cap to stop the point gain or get a kill on the legal senior. And then you're golden. I feel sick saying this. I really do. Sick saying what? <laughs> that I might win. Yes! I'm sorry, but <laughs> come on. What the hell is this? It's a, it's a long shot. That's what you, it is. So you're, there's a chance. so you're telling me oh, there's, there's a, a chance. <laughs> yeah. They don't run from me when you push in a secondary battleship. You should push the thing you have support that's going to pick off. Okay, yep, yep. No dudes, that makes sense. I, I completely get you there. Uh, you're detected, by the way, so um, oof. You're pretty healthy, which is good. Yeah, except I have a Zara shooting me. But the La Galish... Zara has, like, no hit point. The La, 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 La Galish yeah, shooting... The La Galish shooting AP at you. Yes. You play <laughs> I was, a... I was just that. You play on the EU server, right? Correct. Okay. I, I've, I've been told that the EU server is better than NA, but I'm starting to question this decision. Uh... It depends on the day oh. and the two. And that, that's the coolest part, guys, is it doesn't matter what server you're on. People are good and people are bad and you just play there with are it. There potatoes everywhere, man. Damn right, dude. Damn right. Dude, Stevie, lie down already. I need to test out some clothes on you. He, he just really wants the food, man. Ben Nimitz, good night, dude. Common sense is a superpower, right? Okay, you've got a minute and a half to somehow claw this back from. Th oh my god, you're gonna torpedo him. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> okay. Oh, face, man. okay, okay. Okay. Gotta go mess with the even a few spots. There you go, Slaughter and Slaughter. I'm told SEA plays real far back. Okay, well, maybe it does. I don't know. Look at the guts on you, man. Opening up with your guns now? I want him to turn for the torps. Okay. Or I could just try and kill him straight up, because he's bowing. True. True. And, of course, he wants that kill, right? Because you're the last... Yeah. You're the last ship alive. Yeah, he's greeting for it. Mm-hmm. But it's SAP, which does bad things to you as a destroyer. Yep, yeah. yep. Yeah. I might have slowed down here and hit the uh, the smoke key, but that's okay. You're still shooting him. I've got a perma fire. I've got him dead now. So oh my god! Oh my god! 17 say. Oh my god! Two solo warriors in a row, dude. This isn't the solo warrior. I'm gonna tell you now. 
No, really? Oh wait, no, yes. Yes, they're gonna they're gonna they're gonna tick up on no offense, I'm rooting against you. They're gonna tick up on points right now. Next one. No they're not. No they're not. Is it a freaking draw? It, it's a draw. <laughs> it's a draw. I drew the game. <laughs> Should still get solo warrior, you get robbed. Everybody I got robbed of solo warrior by a draw. <laughs> that is very much deserving of a solo warrior. My dude. What the hell? Mate, it, it was uh, it was a it was a strange ending. You're telling me? Yeah. <laughs> me and my division mate after that, we were just laughing for at least ten minutes. I can he understand was just watching why. That, just having the having the same reaction you did, like just his face in his hands at the enemy. Unbelievable, guys. All right, so. <laughs> Well, thanks for sending that. First of all, a draw is fantastic because it, on the one hand, because everybody loses. On the other hand, because it shows how much of an effort you put into the game to try to claw that back to a win, uh, which is, I mean, hats off to you, man. That's awesome. Like, it says a lot about you as a player. Now, if you go back to when I overshot the cap, if I'd stayed in, I would have got the solo warrior. Correct. <laughs> Which very, makes me want to die looking back at that replay. <laughs> very much correct. All right, um, guys, we're doing our last marbles on stream. Uh, exclamation point join gets you in. As you can see, you go down a funnel. You go through an area that's probably got a lot of boosts. Yep, there it is. Another funnel to a cannon that puts you through. I've never seen this map before. Is that an explanation point play? Yes, explanation point play. I'm sorry, explanation point play. And then, and then you get into here, and then you're at the finish line. Guys, I'm gonna run a quick, brief ad, and then we're gonna get started. Okay? Here we go. And uh, we're gonna start a three-minute countdown. There we go. Take care, Duckman. Thanks for hanging out. I like how he says he's got to go and then he enters. <laughs> did he really? Yes, he did. Yes, he did. That's that's Duckman for you. That's Duckman for you. Oh, I love you, Duckman. That's great. <laughs> Wow. All right, guys, we're going to sneak this. We're going to sneak this right now. I've got a little bit of, of whiskey left. We're going to sneak it right now. Shh, don't tell the why. I'm drinking the rest of this. It's going to be glorious. ASMR, here we go. I don't know about you guys, but the sound of something hitting a cup and being poured is definitely ASMR. Yeah? Yeah. Great. Now, Kitten didn't li I don't know if you liked this before or not, but I'm going to do it anyway. I'm going to lick the cup because nobody, <laughs> uh, nobody else in this household drinks whiskey except for me. So this tip is mine. Yeah. There you go, Snow Mongoose. That's exactly, exactly. Sweet from the bottle with that. Oh, I could have done that. That's true. I, I've done that before. Sound the cork that makes. Well, that, that is very true. That is very true. One minute left to go. Oh, yes. Mmm. I love the feeling of drinking whiskey without ice or anything else. Straight. Oh, the feeling of it going down your, your chest. So good. <laughs> Give me that fire. I want that fire. All right. We are now done with the 50 minute baking period. 20 minutes left for it to cool down in the oven. Perfect timing for us. Out of context moments. Raining recon. 
Dude. Thank you for being a part of our stream. I don't know what else to say. Have you not noticed this? Have you ever tried just putting a couple drops of water in? Notice. Water? I, I do ice. Here we go. Here we go. Here comes the game. Here comes the game. Let's see what happens. We got ourselves our initial... Initial <laughs> funnel. Who's going to make it down the funnel first? We got Who Jam in first. Do drop the bold Cthulhu. And then they go rounding about that rim. At some point they will go in. There they go. Raining Recon in the first. Do drop as well in Cthulhu in third place. Let's take a look at Raining Recon. There's Raining Recon there. Raining Recon. Weeb confirmed. And so what is everybody racing for? Huh? Did you ever say what everybody is racing for? No, I didn't. Put in, what are they racing for? <laughs> well, this is the final one, right? Yes. So it's one of each code. One of each, ladies and gentlemen. This is the big Along one. Along with the special uh, uh, tier two ship. Oh. Oh my God! You're giving away four container code, four codes at once, dude. I know. Here comes do drop At the least bolt. I know the person will be here. Nodens is in first place right now. Oh, that's me. I know who Nodens is. That's Oh, rip squisser, rip. A lot of people. Oh my god, people are dying now left and right. Oh my that's, god. Um, that, that cannon is brutal. That cannon is brutal indeed. Holy crap. It's a massacre out there. Here we go. Sounds pretty neat is probably going to win. Sounds pretty neat has won all the codes in the world courtesy that of Puddin and Wargaming and I need another drink. That is one hell of a win right there. Mm -hmm. Lazy Lizard comes in second sadly just like Top Gun. There are no points for second place. Standard Motor comes in third. Sea Bear comes in third, fourth. Raining Recon fifth. Demon Guard sixth. The Real Eye Duckman seventh. Cthulhu eighth. Mothfly ninth. And Fujam tenth. Now, believe it or not, there is the ability to do a Grand Prix version of this game, which you will definitely see coming forward. Snow Mongoose taking up the rear right now. Yes, Abreu is the tier 2 ship. Puddin comes in second. I never joined this game. I should have joined. Oh, well. And here comes Snow Mongoose. Doink. Sounds pretty neat. Is our winner. Hopefully you are a follower and you have won as a result. Guys, I need to know... Who do you want me to raid at this point in Z-Stream? We're coming up on our ending. I'd like to know I, who's out there that we can raid. I threw you an idea if you're doing a small raid today. I So typically, I like to do people that have less than 100 people currently watching them right now. He's got 10, and Nifty's in his voice chat with him. Okay. Who is this now? Um, Coogs89. All right, so what I'm going to do, you. ladies and yes. gentlemen, is I'm going to make a new poll for who to raid. Okay, what was that name again, Kitten? Coogs89, C-O-O-G-S-8-9. Okay, Coogs89 is up there as a contender. Calibri is up there. Also, on. I thought Calibri has got over 100 people watching her right now. She's at 91. Okay, Calibri can work. Vartazin. Absolutely. Vartazin's a great dude. Who else, ladies and gentlemen? Who else would you like to see us potentially raid? Please tell me, and I'm very happy uh, to accommodate you guys. I love to raid Over people that have less than 100 people watching because it's just fun to see 
their reaction and to, to help people be discovered. Oh my god, really? <laughs> Sam! Oh my god, I'm so... See, I told you you can't end yet. I told you. Well, I guess Fem's out of the uh, raid poll. Oh my goodness, Fem! Fem, thank you. Oh my god, another hour? All right. I'm going to do one more replay in honor of you, jerks. Oh my god. My wife is going to be so angry with me. All right, moving on to Nustrashimi. Nustrashimi, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome, Femme. welcome, all beautiful raider. Thank you so much for the raid, ladies and gentlemen. This is Zas Replay Theater. We are covering some replays. We were supposed to stop replaying about 34 minutes ago, but thanks to people raiding me, we're going to continue, and I'm going to get in trouble, but I have dirty water to help me get through it. Cheers. Femenonly raided my stream with 295 viewers. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. We got to follow. Demo, thank you for the follow. Demo 448 is now following. Grunty. Grunty is yes this is grunty's game honey badgers de care is now following this is grunty's game oh my god what is happening Tarek with the cheer 100 bits by 10 millimeters go oh my goodness ladies and gentlemen Part of Fem's raid, everybody else. Thank you so much for being a part of this. Welcome to Zass Replay Theater. We cover replays. We talk about all the amazing stuff that happens. Oh my goodness! Sounds pretty neat. Golf clap for you! Golf clap for you! You got yourself a USS kid in the CC container. Yes! yes yes i need to put that in my oh. in my uh where where is my spreadsheet i've got a i've got container i've got spreadsheets guys uh shoot winnings i think i have it in there maybe it's in cct but i've got a list of all the ships that i've given away to people yes there it is there it is there it is there it is there it is, there it is. we need to add this kid dude first of all congratulations on your kid in the CC container. Second of all, you owe me a replay of you in the kid. Third of all, kitten, thank you for the 100 bits. Holy crap. And now we get to see a grunty game. Oh my god, Atari Beer Paw with the raid too. Oh my god, there's so many raids. I love it. I love it. You're gonna be here all night, sir. I gotta be all. I'm okay with this. Is my wife? I don't know. <laughs> uh oh, I got a text message from two minutes ago. Well, looks like you got the couch tonight. Asking me if I'm almost done because pizza's coming out soon. Yes, honey, it's coming out soon. <laughs> okay. 24 hour stream says Demon Guard. I would love to do that. Holy crap. I would love to do that. That'd be fun. Who are we covering again? This is Grunty. And the Nustrashimi. God, I love the Nustrashimi. Love it. Love this ship. It's got the super heal, which is very helpful. The guns themselves are okay. Torpedoes are okay. But it's got defensive fire. It's got engine boost. It's got heal. It's got smoke. What? What else do you need as a destroyer, really? Atari Bear Pong raided my stream with 16 views. It's freaking got everything. Everything! Raining Rico with the cheer! Atari B Prong, thank you again. I hope you have your dead eye. Raining Wreck and Cheer Dex okay. 10, 24 hour stream incoming. Everyone uh, strap yourselves. Let's in. find out what Stevie thinks about, about my uh, Fabletics hoodie. I like this hoodie. I think this is nice. Let's see what he thinks about it. Let's see what he thinks about it. He heard his name, but he's okay. Atari Beerpunk, dude, I'm doing fine. Thank you very much for the raid. 
now we're watching new sashimi from tm grunty who by the way is in opizov did you guys notice the red uh, shell tracers he is in kuznetsov ladies and gentlemen oh my god first strike on the kansas i need to ping this dude i need to let him know i'm covering his game did i ping him i did okay so how many raids is that now? Four? Five? I'm scared. Hold me. You're never going to get out of there. No. I'm not. So, now, mind you, I'm okay with this. I would love to do a 24-hour stream. Love to do a 24-hour stream. Uh, um, Did you guys notice the cat cam, by the way? Stevie is still currently smothered by... um. I think he's okay with it. I think he's not gonna go on camera until it gets more bacon. Everybody go to other streams and convince them to raid me. Thank you very much, at least. So, notice how he's not moving. He loves my clothing. He really does. And he's perfectly fine with it. Uh oh! Merlin with the cheer! Oh my god, we got a hype train already? 500 bits, Merlin! <laughs> Merlin, thank you so much for the bits! Oh Merlin my god, Tarek with the bits at 100 bits! <laughs> you guys are gonna keep me streaming! There's pizza downstairs ready to go, and you're gonna keep me. Tarek, uh, Sapper, thank you for the follow! Oh my god, you guys! I'd be more worried about the wife than the pizza. I am worried about oh, Stevie's getting out of the bed. Stevie's like, I'm done with this stuff. Daddy, I'm done. With okay, let me pull it out for you. There you go, honey. I think Stevie wants back on my lap again, guys. Uh, oh my god, Sergeant Slaughter! No! Sub 2, Sir, oh, gear, oh. Sergeant Slaughter gifted a tier 1 sub to Sin and Style 2. Slaughter underscore SQD gifted Sin and Style 2 a subscription. Sergeant <laughs> underscore Slaughter <laughs> underscore SQD gifted a tier 1 sub to Sin and Style 2. Oh my god, Chris Follick says, You keep streaming, we'll keep. We'll, we'll save the pizza. I wish it was that easy, but I'm in, in Chicago. All right, I need to do something. I never thought I would have to do this, ladies and gentlemen, but I'm gonna do it. Uh, 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 just need to. I need it. Oh, goodness. Here it comes. Here it comes. <laughs> Give the grunty a reset of the reflex. I can do that. Oh my God. Is it too late to order pizza? Yes, it is, Sergeant Slaughter. Stevie has left me. Oh well. That's about all it is for the bottle. That's all it's left for, it, at least. Here's where we watch that slowly spiral into insanity. Oh, that was Friday night for those of you guys that are in Kraken. We did booze and boats. It was great. It's great. I, I still have a little bit left, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you so much. I love you all. Grunty is continuing to do stupid things. Okay, well, so Grunty has pushed through. Thought a whole ton. Um, but he's done enough. Let's see what happens. Let's see what happens. I have some thoughts. I have some ideas. But he's in a good position. There's nothing there except... Okay, now he's detected. So that tells me Shiratsuyu or Yugumo is detecting him. Shiratsuyu is prop. Oh, there it is. I was just going to say, he's probably up here now. Now, you against a Shiratsuyu, you probably lose other than you've got the, f you've got the heal. Let's see what happens. Fem, I hope you had a great uh, game today. Thank you very much. A great stream. I hope your raid went, your stream went well. I I can't talk. 
I'm sorry. I'm just excited. I can't talk. But Grunty, this is absolutely when you get aggressive in a destroyer. So ladies and gentlemen, we cover replay analysis. If you would like to join and, 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 and have your replays looked at, here you go. And a little bit of buzz. Yes, you better believe it, Migs. There you go. We're 88% to hype train next level, guys. 88%. I think it's like one more person subbing or cheering gets us there. Tarek, thank you so much for those 100 bits, my dude. There it is. More. Thank you for the follow. Exclamation point ticket gets you into some giveaway. I don't know. Put it taken care of it. Holy crap, guys. Oh my goodness, Alan Cat! Alan Cat getting us to our next level! Alan Cat! Off clap there for you, Alan Cat. Alan Cat9807 gifted Fanto 696 a subscription. Gifting Cat9807 gifted a tier one, tier one sub subs. Fanto 696. Holy crap, you guys. Island Cat. Hype and chat for Island Cat, my dude. Raven Wolf got a sub. Texas Tanner got a sub. Island Cat 9807 no gifted Rav 3 in well one F a subscription. Cheeky Island shenanigans. Cat 7 no gifted a tier 1 sub Have to Rav 3 in well one F. You're welcome, Sith Kitten. Thanks for hanging out. Thank you for having me as well. I just gotta figure out how to get into mine. <laughs> Island there you go. Nine eight oh seven no gifted Texas Tanner a subscription. Island All right. Cat nine eight oh seven no gifted a tier one sub to Texas Tanner. My wife has told me I have ten minutes, ladies and gentlemen. Ten minutes. Well, that's funny. That's all that's left in this game. <laughs> great one with the bits, dude. Great one. Island Cat nine eight oh seven no gifted cheeky shenanigans a subscription. Island Cat nine eight oh seven no gifted a tier one sub to cheeky shenanigans. Look at this, ladies and gentlemen. Look at this. I hope you enjoy the the five ten millimeter gun sound. The original 510 millimeter sound. Bob Island Ross warning. Lol. Island Cat 9807 gifted Abbott into a subscription. Island Cat 9807 gifted a tier one sub to Abbott and two. Suddenly it's like three against one. Harley with the bits too. Harley. <laughs> oh my God, you guys are Great fantastic. One thousand. Tarek. Island Cat cheers as well. Oh my god, you guys. I don't know what to say. You guys. Island Cat 9807 no cheered X100. You. I can't. I, I keep hearing the freaking 510s going up. You guys are. Hardly thank you for the bets. You guys are amazing. We are almost Tour to level. We're at eighty-six percent of level three Lord hype train, you guys. How do you pronounce guys, Mecca? I have, I have pizza downstairs. You're keeping away from pizza. I'm being told by my wife I've got five minutes. Guys, I've got five Highly minutes. You're keeping away from pizza. Five minutes. Oh my god. Five minutes. That's, that's super conflicted. I am so go? conflicted. What, what am I supposed to do? <laughs> there's the pizza. Then there's the there's the community. There's pizza. There's the community. There's so many amazing things. Tarek again with a cheer. Pizza will only make you fat. Says that gesture. Torex seventy. Oh my God! Did pizza come back? Suck it, pizza. Dude, if I got pizza came back, I'd have no wife left. Meanwhile, Grunty again. Oh my god, Snow Mongoose! Snow Mongoose! <laughs> you guys! You guys! Grunty! Snow Mongoose! Oh my god, 100 more bits, but 96% to get done with their level 3 height train. What the hell is happening here? I don't even know, you guys. 
Harley Quinn with uh, the cheer to get us. It. Harley Quinn with the cheer to get us to level four. Grab a sleeping bag, Sergeant Slaughter. I very well might need that. Holy shit! Stuff. Oh my uh, god! Good thing you got all those nice new clothes. You don't have to wash anything. <laughs> 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 You're gonna need that hammock, staff. You're gonna be at that desk for a while. I have a hammock. It's right here. Here, I'll show you guys. Yeah, exactly. You're gonna need it. It's it's right freaking here. There's my hammock. No need. Oh my god, you guys. Oh my god. Okay, Tom. So here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna run a three minute ad. And then we're gonna we're gonna do marbles. We're gonna do one last marbles. Here it is. Here it is. One last marbles. Tom two cats with the win. Exclamation point play is what you need to play and need to hit. Squizzer got in. Here we go. Marbles on stream, ladies and gentlemen. Putin, what are we giving away? Uh, the two uh, event crates because I can't remember what they're called. Lunar New Year and Journey to the West containers. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Explanation point play gets you in. Three minute countdown. Here we go. I need to hit the bathroom. I will be right back and then we're going to do marbles and then that'll be the end of the stream, I guess. Be right back, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> oh my he's, goodness. He's going to get ambushed by his wife on the way to the bathroom. Torex 79 cheered Dex 100. I can't believe this. I can't believe this. The freaking Super Bowl is going on, but you guys are, are, are here hanging out. Oh my god, Tarek with the 100 bits as well. Harley Quinn with the 100 bits seems good, she says. My god, you guys are something special. You guys are really something special. Okay, something just happened on stream. Somebody said something. What do they say? What are we saying? Should I do STH? Tom Two Cats, what do you mean? Only watching the Super Bowl for ads? Yeah, damn right, dude. I don't care. What is a Super Bowl? I, I don't blame you, dude. I don't care about the Super Bowl. Give the wife and tell her... Tell... Wait. Tell her Sue.tm. I would love to Sergeant Slaughter. Here's to, to Grunty who played the match. No one ever saw. Oof. Sith Kitten Tom Tukas. Yeah, we'll go ahead and read her afterwards here. Sure. <laughs> Oh my god. Okay, 22 seconds. Last chance to get in. Exhibition point play. Button, what are we giving away? The last of the um, event containers. All right, last of our event containers. Here we go. Two times Lunar New Year, two times Journey to the West containers. Who's going to win the containers? Let's find out right here, guys. Tarek is in an early lead. Seabear is in a, for, uh, in a very early lead, actually. Mordigan's right behind him. Here comes Seabear. Moving on down the... Oh, no! He died! 
Oof, Mar Morgan died to Cochlin. Sergeant Slaughter is in. Oh, he died to. Cochlin is in first place. Look at all the people dying. Holy crap. Oh my god, level 3 completed. Level 3 hype train. Choo choo, mother effers. You guys are fantastic. Who's in the lead right now? Tarek is in the lead at. Oh my god, here comes Tarek coming around the corner. Is Tarek gonna win this? What do you guys think? No. Chris Fala, Snow Mongoose is ahead of Tarek right now. Here he comes into, into one of the little filtration systems. And Tarek takes the lead. Here he comes around the corner. Chris Fala is in a slight lead ahead of him. Oh my goodness, here comes Tarek again. Yankee Jaeger, where's Yankee Jaeger? Grumpy Stark, War, everybody is a little bit closer to the end. Let's take a look here at the end. Whoever comes out of this first has a good chance of winning. Chris Valla! Chris Valla is probably going to win this. Here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go. And Chris Valla wins. Top number one. Uh, do drop the Vold comes in second. Tarek third. Snow Mongoose thirteenth. Yankee Jaeger fifth. Grumpy Stark sixth. Ederika seventh. Shellback eighth. Nodens ninth. And War tenth. Squizzer coming in last. Tedster very close in competition for last place. But of course I'm in last. <laughs> Based off your two replays you sent, I, I don't ex I, I'm not surprised. <laughs> You're the last alive every time. Right? Here it comes. Squizzer taking... Oh, Tedster's gonna take the, the, the L. Tedster, last place. There it is. There it is. I do need to go see my wife. That is very true, Snow Mongoose. So we are going to go ahead and raid Sith Kitten. Sith Kitten's been a part of our stream for a while. Big thanks to Sith Kitten for being a part of that stream. Did that work? Oh, I need to move my stream ending section. Derp. Hold on. This is where we thank all of you fine people for being a part of our stream. Melissa, Victor, thank you very much for the follow, Melissa, Victor. Raid, yeah, the raid didn't set up, but there we go. Now it's set up. This is the part where we thank all of you guys for being a part of the action. Fantastic stream, guys. We streamed for a full hour past what we normally stream. That's because of you. Because if you find people, thank you so much. Oh my goodness. Oh, that hurt my leg. All right, Ray and Marevin, have a good one. You too. Thank you for being a part of the stream. Take care. Guys, when you get to Sith Kitten, say hi. Um, she's an awesome person looking to improve her standing in World of Warships. Wants to make a CC at some point, I'm sure. But more importantly, just wants to have fun. Great stream. Have a good evening. Drink some water. Give Lady Zeth our regards. I think I have a little bit of dirty water left. Just a little bit. You might not be here next weekend. Oh, no, Deadliest. That's unfortunate. All right. <laughs> Great one. Thank you so much, guys. I hopefully I'll see you next weekend. We'll do a talk about Commander Rework and we'll do some more replays and all that good stuff. Until then, be safe. Grumpy Shark, pizza, got no pizza, but maybe I'll make a sandwich. There you go. Valentine's Day and all. Oh, deadliest. That is true. It is Valentine's Day next weekend, isn't it? Did you win, Duckman? Duckman, you always win because you're here with me. I don't know what else to say. Hi and bye, says Melissa Victor. Fair enough. Five seconds to go. Four, three, two, one. Guys, give the Zeth wave. Circle with the slash when you get there. And we are now done 